Brad Pitt is in a Los Angeles hospital tonight. He apparently has the flu, but oh. doctors are doing a couple of tests just to make sure. Night. This comes right after his trip to Africa with Angelina Jolie, where she adopted a girl. Mm, so they're speculating right there. They don't want to say it, but they're speculating that he caught some wild bug. Wild mm. bug. Some wild bug. Wild bug. Oh, jeez. <laughs> His publicist would not say if he caught the bug there, though. Mm-hmm. That'd be the wild bug. Uh, speaking of wild bugs, I'm looking over all these emails, and now we're up to uh, good numbers of women that want to be America's next top model. Terry? Yeah? Yes. Or some of the women, right? American's next top model. Mm-hmm. <laughs> How are they looking? Some are great. Yeah? Some are good. Some pictures in black and white. Oh. <laughs> Tell us you Not a good yeah, thing. That's the reason they made the elephant man in black and white. Mm -hmm. So it wouldn't be so gruesome. And some women just having no business sending us an email whatsoever. And those are the ones I want to see. Uh, <laughs> oh, wow, really? <laughs> well, I want to see them all, Terry. Sure. I want to see them all. Oh, see them all. And Pasty is uh, pretty much telling me a couple of minutes before we started the show, like I was here by then, uh, just 20 seconds ago, that the women coming down this morning have not sent an email. Is that right? I'm uh, like looking through this pile saying, where are the women who are coming down this morning? And you're telling me they were just phone calls we took yesterday. That's what I, that was my instruction. Is that right? Correct. Correct. So we know nothing about them. We know nothing about the ladies coming down today. No. They are true wild cards. Wild cards. Oh. Wow. Huh? All right. Is he saying something? Probably. What was that? I, oh, I was... Uh, <laughs> burr. <laughs> burr. <laughs> I was just chatting. I'm someone's uh, sorry. Uh, that was the big facial yesterday there, huh? Ah. <sighs> Whoa. Not sure I love him. He's, uh... He's doing it all up for the Get big wedding day. He's getting facials. He's getting manicures. Wow. He's getting highlights, highlights, in, highlights in his hair. Mm. Very risky move, by the way. Mm. Highlighting your hair a couple of days before the wedding. Let's say it came out just tragically... You gonna shave your head? Sure. He would. Yeah, he would. <laughs> <laughs> tragic <laughs> highlights, Pete. Highlights can be tragic. tragic if it doesn't take right or it doesn't look Darn right orange. on you. Doesn't look right on you, well, man. It's, it's not sunning. No, it's just. <laughs> well, you can get a bad highlight job and look as bad okay. as sunning. Right. Now, uh, I haven't heard the words that phrase sunning since like <laughs> twenty years ago. Anyway, uh, ten years ago. Anyway. Five years ago. Uh, yesterday. Anyway, <laughs> yesterday. Yesterday, you and I sprayed it on each other. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> wow. Right. That must have sounded like Fine. a good party. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. So You'll be invited today. Uh, <laughs> But yours, I, I must say, took just fine, and wow. it came out very well. Thank but so it, I'm just saying it was a risky move. Could have been tragic. I should have canceled. You would have been a big cantaloupe-looking head if you had to shave your head for the pictures <laughs> for your kids, your grandkids, and and who knows how many generations to see. How to borrow one of Marie's wigs. <laughs> what if your chemical peel didn't work yesterday? Wow. Whoa. Big red face. You might as well go get the chemical peel. You've gotten the facial. you got yeah. the highlights. you got the eyebrow wax. Got it all. Uh, my face is in pain. Have you had a massage yet or anything? I don't get massage. Oh, that's right. You I feel like Joan Rivers, touched. man. With the his, his fiance only wants him to have him do things that make him look pretty. Oh, right. yeah. Don't feel not good. Not feel good? Right. Oh, okay. Now, is there any way we can slice off 150 pounds <laughs> off this gentleman? Uh, All right. I'll just, did she ask that of the, uh, of the what do you call them? The, the women esthetician? Who, esthetician? All right, never mind. Salon people? Oh, just... <laughs> Now, uh, your eyebrows look very shaped there. They are very almost shaped. Almost a little too... <laughs> reason. Almost a little too... Sh mm, stenciled, Curry? shaped. Well, after the wedding, I'm going to be a body double for Michael Jackson. Okay. So I had to get them nice and shaped. Yes. They're very well shaped. I do like the Swiss shower. Do you? Mm -hmm. All those shower heads. Oh, yes. <laughs> Put this one right here. Okay. Whoa. All crazy. right, now. Yes, there are <laughs> many nozzles, Terry. Yes, there are. You can, you can uh, have focusing on any particular body mm. part at any angle you choose. Right. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And when they started pounding on the door, Mr. Soap, we're, we're closing up. <laughs> can you yeah. come out now? Yeah, right. No He's, more hot water in the building. <laughs> right. You started getting a hint that uh, maybe it was time to come out, right? Yes. <laughs> okay. I'm glad you enjoyed that, though. You should be pampered. You should be... Uh, Manicured, you should be waxed up. Waxed up for mm. the big wedding day. Thank you. Now, did the fiance also get a nice little day at the spa? Oh, geez. She goes all the time, man. Oh, she has an addiction. Okay. Oh, does she? Yes. Wow. Mm -hmm. It's an expensive like most women. addiction. Yes. <laughs> 
That's why I don't go. The oh. addiction is called womanhood. Huh? Oh, what? <laughs> Anyhow. Wow, it's nice. <laughs> Thank nice. you. Very well done. So you got, you're, the, you're you got the tan go. going? You got a little spray tan there? No, I'm going real tan. Ah, he's going real tan. Yeah. He's going to hard oh, 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 We're going to melanoma. He's a sizzling like bacon. <laughs> So I'm oh. noticing every day you're coming in darker. But I haven't gone for a while, though. All right. Hmm. You say so. So we're not going to see the real you at your wedding, basically. No. <laughs> no. It's a completely come. artificialized hopscotch scotch. <laughs> come, come visit in, like, November. Everybody's That'll like, be me. <laughs> everybody's like, who is that guy standing up there? He looks right. so good. Wow. <laughs> All cleaned up. Mm -hmm. You got the reference, Terry. <laughs> It's amazing they, they spent all that money on a wax statue of Scott just for the wedding. <laughs> now, where is the real Scott? Where is he? Is he coming out now? No, he's pulling up his sweats in the back room. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, that would be more realistic, wouldn't it? Right. Yes. Well, weddings are off a side anyway, man. All right. Whoa. Well, it's in the whole very thing. interesting that uh, you have put that on record a couple of days before your own. Yeah, yeah. that's true. I mean, you know, right. people don't usually drive around in you know, horse and buggy after the wedding, you know, and well. big limos and, you know. Mm-hmm. It's, it's all that, a big show. Horse and buggy? Do you have a horse and buggy? Or whatever, carriages or whatever they are. Horse, horse and buggy. Are you yeah. doing that right? No, we're doing a limo. But <laughs> I don't normally drive around in one of those either. All right. Anyhow. That's not a facade, though. Hey, hey, I mean, don't, don't get all testy. It's all right. No, you can, I'm agreeing with you. You, that it's, you, you know, can get groomed. It's not the real Everything's thing. fine. <laughs> you can look smooth and pretty for once in your life, and we won't think that you've all of a sudden given in to the man or the woman. Or well, whoever the I man is. for the girls coming down today. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah, you did. A couple days before your wedding, that's appropriate. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So there it is. Get her done. Yeah. He looks so good. Oh, jeez. He looks so what? He looks so good. Oh, my God. <laughs> not no. there. I mean, not there, you know. All He's right. a ugly guy. Terry's a little hot, it sounds like. Oh, well, I kind of am. All right. It's working for Terry there. It is. Glad I got the endorsement of a 40-year-old pastor prime mm -hmm. lady. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, I was working on that, by the way. Okay. Nice. Thank you so much. Okay. <laughs> I'm going in for the, the ass peel today. And the... <laughs> when is the last cigarette? Uh, not not anytime soon. Okay. I don't know why. <laughs> well, I'm a little stressed with the wedding. I, I got to continue that habit. I can tell by the way you're bouncing up and down over there. You all right? Yeah, I had two hours sleep. But if it's a facade and it's not really that big of a deal, then who cares? Why worry about it? Well, I think you're mistaken the word facade. I'm not saying it's not a big deal. I'm saying it's not normally stuff that I Well, do. don't try to back out of it now. You said it wasn't a big deal. Anyhow, uh, the last time I saw someone bouncing up and down like you, I was visiting my cousin in the mental ward. But that's okay. Everything <laughs> seems to be on point for the big wedding, and we're all excited. You're, yes. Oh, you're going? Oh, yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> right after I get all groomed. Duh. <laughs> the T-Man. The world-famous summer jam is coming. I want to see Sierra. Yes, I want to see the new Potter book was sold to 14 people in Coquitlam, B.C. by mistake. Oh, yeah, you hear about this big Harry Potter uh, scandal, Terry? Yes. How is your Harry Potter, by the way? Fine. Mm. Okay, good. <laughs> uh, it was sold up in Vancouver, Terry. They mm. did wrong. They blew it. Yep. They screwed us all. They screwed all us big Harry Potter fans. Big Harry mm -hmm. Potter. Now I know what to expect oh. when I dive right into my Harry Potter, Terry. Right. Mm -hmm. Good. Leave it to a Canadian to screw everybody. Right. Now I'll know exactly what to, uh, what's going to be going on when I dive into my Harry Potter this weekend, Terry. Mm -hmm. And I'm big Harry Potter weekend fan. <laughs> wow. Mm hmm. Uh, is that what the Cube Weekend is? Yes, a big <laughs> Harry Potter weekend. <laughs> oh, wait till you see the chapter on the Wizard's Sleeve. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> God. Choose your own adventure? That's what I hear. This one's called Harry Potter and the Wizard's Sleeve. <laughs> That'd be awesome. The new Potter book was sold to 14 people in Coquitlam, B.C. by mistake. Mm. The local grocery store had it out on shelves last week. A judge ordered those 14 people right. to keep it a secret. A judge ordered them. Uh, okay, I'm not buying all this, by the way. A judge uh, ordering I, you I know. Guy. No, I Quiet? just know. I just know how these PR people do it, Terry. And I really think that this was all planned. <laughs> hmm. There was no buzz. Well, I'm not saying there was no buzz. There's never not going to be any right. buzz on a Harry Potter book. Right. Anytime you pull out a Harry Potter, people are going to race for it. But I'm going to play with my wand every time. <laughs> compared, compared to other Harry Potter installments, the buzz may have been a little lighter than they uh, are accustomed to dealing with. So they come up with this big uh, or little blip that or thing that happened here, and all of a sudden it becomes a national story, and right. oh, it just happened... Up there in Vancouver, and it's going to ruin it for us all, so we must get our books real quick and read it real fast so we don't have it ruined for us. Mm -hmm. Come on. <laughs> what do you think we were born yesterday? 
oops, we sold 14 copies by mistake. <laughs> but we realized quick that we were doing wrong. I don't know, man. And we have all their names, so you can go to their houses and tell them to stop <laughs> okay. reading that. I'm not buying it! It's a PR stunt! To get those books off the shelves that much quicker! Because it's, it's become huge news. And now everyone, as soon as the big uh, uh, actual date hits, what's the date of the big uh, Harry Potter unveiling? Not sure. Well, it depends. I'm sure it's different in everyone's home. <laughs> uh, but uh, when it happens, people can go racing for these books and read them as quick as possible because of this big scandal. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's terrible that this has happened. This guy in Coquitlam, you know, I've owned a bookstore for 50 years. I didn't realize release date meant I couldn't sell them until then. Mm-hmm. Oops. The way did it happen? Yeah, grocery Coquitlam. store. Coquitlam. Isn't that the pig farmer uh, situation? I think so, yeah. Is, yeah. Wow. The murdering pig farmer. The murdering. <laughs> so it's, the, 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 see, it ties in perfectly. Now, Coquitlam, whatever the pronunciation is, is no longer just famous for the pig farmer murder. Right. Now it's famous for the... Harry Potter scandal. Ooh. It's the hairiest of Potters up there from what I hear. <laughs> <laughs> How could they do that? How? The murdering pig farmer is already through chapter 7. He loves it. <laughs> uh, yes. <laughs> all right. Whatever. I'm sure it was all on the level. It wasn't some devised idea by some PR staff behind the whole Harry Potter thing. I believe it. Mm -hmm. Okay, what else is going on, Terry? Well, rumor has it that uh, Fox has uh, shot down Paris Hilton's idea to replace Nicole Richie with uh, Kimberly Stewart, Rod Stewart's uh, right. daughter. Rod Stewart's daughter left twisting in the wind. Yeah. Because now they're bringing back Paris and Nicole, and even Nicole. though they hate each other. Yeah. They despise each other. But it's going to be Simple Life 16 or whatever yeah, they're on. For the fourth season. Fourth season. Mm -hmm. Yes. Do you know it's going to be America's top model of season six, by the way? They're wow. way ahead of uh, the Simple Life, Terry. Jeez. That's what we're working on here. Wow. Because the people at, uh, at America's Top Model sent me all kinds of information yesterday. Did they? Yeah, I actually That's skimmed through it because I was so clueless on yesterday what we talked about on the phone. Mm -hmm. Because I have a memory about as long as uh, mm -hmm, my penis. Anyway, uh... Uh, we are going to Six make sure Ooh. that we follow the guidelines, not really, and find <laughs> us <laughs> our particular lady who's going to represent the team man in the morning show on this uh, television show next year, Terry. Right. Or when they start shooting later in the fall. And I'm looking at some of these emails that, oh, do we have a collection to choose from? Like the real hot cross-eyed girl here, Terry? <laughs> oh, every pile, <laughs> every pile of potential supermodels needs the real hot, that she is, the real hot cross-eyed girl. At now, least if they had a pageant for just cross-eyed girls, she'd definitely win. <laughs> mm -hmm. At least she sent you color pictures, though, right? Or the Asian animation-looking girl. Anim Asian every, animation girl. Every. I mean, she doesn't look like a, a real person. Looks like a cartoon here. Today. And every good pile of supermodels oh, wait, she is. needs your Asian animation-looking girl. So you're pleased with the pile? Or the fat bitch with a mustache looking girl? Whoa, oh, there's a fat bitch with a mustache? <laughs> yeah! Can't yeah. wait to see her book her now, Paisa! I never understood I love that. tattoos on the chest that say Dante. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Real hot. I sent you the email too, huh? <laughs> yeah. Ah, yes. Wow. He says, I've been to the red door. They said that was okay. Mm. <laughs> but then uh, we have some, yes. Some very good candidates. I'm hiding my boobs next to my... Oh, jeez, come on. <laughs> come on, Terry. What's wrong with that? Just because you are no longer able to pose like that, don't all of a sudden bring the hater out in you, okay? What? You would love to be standing next to your pussy cat over there, Terry. Sure, you're right. And you're right. to be posing in that fashion. Yeah. The ooh, you just caught me off guard look. <laughs> what was I doing outside? What was, I doing, yes. <laughs> what was I doing on my balcony of my apartment <laughs> naked? Jeez. On my first story balcony of my apartment, <laughs> in front of the people walking all around my front lawn. How did I, how did I find myself in this posture? Right. Mm. <laughs> in the, in Here, let me stick my rear out a little bit more. But isn't the cat just lying there a nice touch? <laughs> I know it is. Isn't baby. that a subliminal message? Mm -hmm. And the subliminal message, yeah. uh, to make it not so subliminal, is obviously... A big pussy! Mm, a big pussy. Well, that's what it is right there. Look at that thing. It probably hits a lot. Yeah. Whoa! That is that is a big cat laying there. Mm-hmm. Oh, you caught me off guard with my ass sticking out like this. <laughs> I was trying to rip one, but he came out and caught me off guard. 
Damn. <laughs> most, most people pass gas topless. <laughs> Eases the pain for some reason. Less constrictive. <laughs> Jeez. And here we have the uh, obligatory. I'm on the a boat on Lake Washington with my drink in my hand posture. Look here. Oh, Supermodel yes. girl. Success. Yes. Success. What's success? Seafair success. Hydro's <laughs> <laughs> rule. I thought you said Seagram's. <laughs> oh, yeah, that too. Because uh, everyone loves a good wine cooler. <laughs> <laughs> Are bottles of James dead yet? Oh, <laughs> no, but over Red and Bucker. Okay. <laughs> Let's see what else we got here. Oh. Yeah? Yes. Oh, and which, what, what picture is uh, this? This would be the obligatory, <laughs> I never forgot how Yen Louie told me to pose picture, too. <laughs> oh, man. What is, what's she doing with her hands? I, I don't know. But this is something that was taught to her <laughs> many <laughs> years Yen ago. Louis? I don't know by who necessarily, Terry, but by someone, and she's oh. never forgotten that this is the best way for her to pose. Very good. Yes. Of course. She looks more like she's uh, advertising herself as the next human pretzel, but <laughs> <laughs> nonetheless, it is an interesting-looking bit of posture. Oh, good. And maybe it, it, in some way, covers something that she's trying to hide. I don't know. But I've never seen someone hold their arms like that. She's multi-talented. I don't think she waits for the bus like that, Terry. <laughs> she's like a contortionist. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> Looking forward to meeting all a these pile ladies. Of stuff That's a there. big pile. That here. is a big pile. Oh. Oh. Hi, how are you? <laughs> what picture is that? Ah, oh, Terry, this is <laughs> uh, my personal picture. Oh, is it? <laughs> <laughs> of you? The one that you keep. <laughs> yeah, this is what T Man would look like if he was a woman, right? There. <laughs> There's a lot to choose from, obviously, yeah. Terry. There's piles and piles of women and uh one mm. more interesting than the next. Yeah. And amongst these piles of emails is America's next top supermodel. I can feel it, Terry. Oh, wow. I can feel it! Well, it's oh. nice to see that their personalities are uh, showing through their yes, photos. Yes, it's amazing how you can make your personality stand out even in a still a photo a graph. Right. And I compliment you ladies out there for making that happen. Very good, ladies. Because your personalities are screaming off the pages here. <laughs> It's saying, ignore me! <laughs> saying the opposite, Terry. Yeah. It's saying, come to me. Ooh, at, least that's what, at least that's how I'm interpreting it. <laughs> right. Yes. <laughs> well, what's that now, Terry? I'll be your next stop model. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now, did they send some little uh, witty emails or just... I'm not reading any. Oh, pictures. you're just looking at pictures. <laughs> All right, Terry, well, it's not America's next top well, witty email contest. Right, I know that, just, I'll, just, I'll just read the one I happen to have in my hand to give you an idea of what people are writing. Hey! <laughs> well, that's how she meant it, Terry. Oh, okay. <laughs> I will try to find a better picture, but for now, Ooh, this is the one I'm sending. <laughs> oh. I'm the second one on the left. My name is Krista. I'm just dying for some kind of feedback. Well, that was... Listen up, Krista. <laughs> <laughs> See, that, that's the wrong thing to use. No, Terry, I didn't rip the actual picture or the email part. I was just playing around, not really. So, and uh, Krista, the second from what? The second from the left. Let me see. Yeah. I, 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 when you have to count in the picture. Yeah, I know. Don't make us work. We're your casting directors for the next couple of weeks. Lord! You have a picture of yourself, by the way. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, yeah, second from the left. I got it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Fifteenth from the right. <laughs> yes. Third row. <laughs> right. The one holding the sign. Yeah, Who the hell's second in? It's, it's kind of... It's kind of a problem. It's kind of interesting. It's kind of <laughs> peculiar. Hmm. When someone is sending a picture in an effort to become, hopefully, America's next top model, Terry. Yes. And they send their picture of themselves, the one that's including the rest of their family with their arms around each other. No. Yeah, no. Is that going to get it done? Is that going to get it done? <laughs> <laughs> Seeing your stupid dad holding his arm around you. Not hot. But it shows you're close, it. close to the family. and Right. True. Don't have pappy issues. Good Do I need to see grandpa in this picture with mole problems? Oh, Jeez. No. Is grandpa in there? Do I need to see uh, her uh, less attractive sister with all those teeth showing? You know, the ones that smile in photographs, Terry, and have every teeth that they ever have owned in the picture? <laughs> yeah, it's not good that you're noticing the rest of the family and not her. Yeah. Not a good sign, right? Mm-hmm. 
And don't forget the cute and cuddly cousin over here. Oh, is that the cute and cuddly cousin? <laughs> Bring Grandpa down. Who uh, doesn't look as good as maybe this girl who sent in the email, but tries a lot harder. Really? Mm. <laughs> With her hand on her sister's breast. Wow. Looks that way. Take a look at that. Whoa. For real? For, for real, Terry, yeah. <laughs> for reals. <laughs> well, uh, we will continue to look through these emails and book your appointments, as many as we can possibly do, to make sure we do our service to America's top model, season six. Yeah. See, isn't it fun already? I'm having a great time. Good. Yes. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> so you're happy with what you've seen? I'm happy with the amount of emails we've gotten between yesterday and today. I want them to continue coming because we need to do a thorough job here. Yes. And I have to take it very seriously mm -hmm. as I do everything, Terry. Right. All right? Mm-hmm. All right. I can see you're focused and ready to go. Oh. <laughs> Glad you can see that. There's never been more clarity. You're on the air. Hi. Hi. Uh, yes, I got a comment regarding the uh, top models and uh, Tyra Banks. All right. I believe Tyra Banks looks more like a porn star with deflated breasts. Mm. Wow. We're waiting for people's and analysis you know, on Tyra Banks, and I'm glad you... On top of that, what? they should create a show called America's Next Gayest Model, especially for gay phone operators. <sighs> Man's obsessed with gay phone operators, Terry. I know. I mean, he'd be. Well, something tells me you've already created that program in your own mind, sir. So why do you need to see it on TV? <laughs> star. You 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 star it and you play it every night. So I mean, why are you all consumed with what's on TV? You have your own personal broadcast in your head. All right. So you need not worry about what NBC or UPN or WB put on. You have your own network programming that you've launched years ago. Obviously. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. He's not arguing with that. He's like, yeah, that's pretty much, that's pretty much true, T-Man. Yeah. What did you see tonight's episode? Mm. <laughs> You're going to love it. Do you, guy, do you need a guy who does the news at night? Wow, Stephen wants to be a part of a show. Jeez. No, of his network. Uh-huh. Yeah, his network. Okay, okay. Stephen, Stephen has found his calling. Yeah. <laughs> Good evening. The Daily News. Extra has your first look as MI3 began shooting in Rome today. Oh! One of the first scenes, Tom Cruise piloting a speedboat along the Tiber River. Oh, it's hot. Well, oh. this boat was all business. Tom's been spending time here. A 440-foot luxury ship owned by the Church of Scientology. Wow. That carried Tom and Katie on a romantic cruise cruise to the Caribbean last week. See, because it's very important, Terry, that your religion owns a luxury yacht. <laughs> wow, really? Uh, I, don't, I didn't know. I, I don't, I'm not familiar how to get on my religion's luxury yacht, Terry, but I'll find a way. Okay. Because apparently I didn't realize that every religion... Oh, yeah. Has a 440 foot ship at its at your disposal for uh, whenever you feel the need to jump aboard. For any parishioners. Ne next year, with the, with the good Lord willing, we'll have a helicopter. Uh -huh. <laughs> a 440 foot luxury ship owned by the Church of Scientology. Owned by the Church of Scientology. Jeez. Wow. <laughs> Stephen, how big's your dinghy? Yeah, not that big. Not 440 feet. No, huh? Is it? Is it? Is it bigger than four feet? <laughs> yes. Okay. I'll give you that. Is it 14 feet? Uh, my actual boat? Is that what you're referring to? That's what I'm asking. Uh, 20 feet. Owned by the Church of Scientology, yes. Mm -hmm. well, yes, well, if it's partially. not owned by them, it's owned by the Mormons. Everything mm -hmm. is. Mm -hmm. No, it's uh, 20 feet. 20 feet. Wow. Steven's got a 20 footer. Mm. Oh, oh. a 20 footer. Wow, oh, you're really styling. Pretty uh, much. Wow. Well. <laughs> mm hmm. Jeez. That's nice. Now, all it needs is Katie Holmes. <laughs> My pastor offered his Winnebago, but I didn't take it. <laughs> While this boat was all business, Tom's been spending time here. A 440-foot luxury ship owned by the Church of Scientology. Now I know why he's so into the religion, Terry. Yeah. Right, I would be too. No That's pretty kidding. cool. Take all my income, I'm, man. I'm, I'm starting to see right. what he sees in the Church of Scientology, Terry. Yeah. Makes sense, huh? Sounds terrific. Yeah. That carried Tom and Katie on a romantic cruise cruise to the Caribbean last week. Right. The story of their secret getaway. You ever take your boat to the Caribbean, Stephen? I haven't, no. No. <laughs> but Scientology probably owns some of the islands. Uh-huh. <laughs> right, just one more donation away from using the blimp. Yeah. Enjoy. <laughs> The story of their secret getaway appears in this week's issue of People Magazine. Yes. But Tom gave our John Kelly a heads up about his vacation plans just before setting sail. Well, that's nice. How important is it? You need to catch a breather, man. How important is that to you to take a little time down? Uh, you know, I take what what I do is I take time huh? in between there. Like everything is part of everything. Oh wow! My that's, family. See, that's deep right there. Yeah, it is. <laughs> what so what much, did he say? Again? So much is scored right again. He's not ready. Everything <laughs> is part of everything. <laughs> in between there, like everything is. Part of everything. Mm -hmm. My family is there with uh, 
with me on the set, and, and Kate's going to be there while I'm shooting oh, MI3, Kate. and I'm going to be, you know, scuba diving. And, so, and we all, I always find time for stuff like that squirt, with squirt, my squirt. family and, and friends. <laughs> what? Whoa, Steve. Stephen, take it easy. <laughs> I'm trying to listen to Tom Cruise. I don't, I don't need to hear what you're doing upstairs in your studio. <laughs> no kidding. All right. Okay. All right. <laughs> I think what Tom was trying to convey is that his whole life is a vacation. <laughs> okay. He doesn't need to take one. I think Tom is making it very clear that he doesn't work very hard, and <laughs> taking a vacation would be ridiculous. Because he has plenty of time for scuba diving and uh, Kate and his family <laughs> while he's working right. on movies. I know last night you were thinking to yourself, boy, I hope Tom's getting enough rest. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, so he's you know. so hard. Well, he's made it clear that... It's not the most dig ditching job. Dig digging, ditch digging. Yeah, that's about it. <laughs> Apparently, you've never done it. Uh, right. <laughs> I'm very familiar with the trade. <laughs> a ditch digging job in the world. Yeah. All right. As a matter of fact, I did do some ditch really? digging at one point in my life. You were you were ditching the digs, and that's, that's why you right. got fired. <laughs> well, I was one of the best ditch diggers in the world. Really? Not really. Uh, but I did it the summer after my first year of college. Would have loved to have seen that. <sighs> Hard-working guy, huh? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Just waiting for the next break. Yeah. Uh, what do you got there? What do you have? Well, a sequel to the movie Roadhouse is in the works. Is that right? Yes, I know you're a huge fan of that movie. And I was hoping that 20 years after the first one, they would make a second one, too. Yes, and it will be called Roadhouse 2 Last Call. Last Call. Oh, Last man. Call, yes. yes. However, awesome. there will not be any Patrick Swayze, Sam Elliott, or Kelly Lynch. Well, Sam Elliott's 116. I understand. Uh, Patrick Swayze is no longer the best cooler in the business, so Whoa. since that's what the movie revolves around, Terry, and I know this not because uh, the movie was made about 20 years ago, but it's been on every week since on TNT and TBS. Uh, it is, yes, as you are aware how I feel about this movie, Terry, one of the all-time greats, right up there with The Godfather and uh, uh, Titanic and all the great movies <laughs> of that ilk. I'm the king of the bar. Uh, right! <laughs> Roadhouse is a freaking classic. And it was screaming out for a sequel for all these years. Yeah. And now we finally have one. Woo! Well, Sony Pictures is doing it. I don't know who they're going to uh, have replace Patrick Swayze. He's the best cooler in the business. I'll just <laughs> tell you right now, I'll be really disappointed if it's Justin Timberlake. That's all I'm going to say, Terry. <laughs> okay. All right, anyone else will be fine. All right. But just no Justin. I don't want to see him with the uh, Tai Chi moves and... And stuff like that. It was, it was hard enough for me to accept Patrick Swayze doing it back in 1989 when the movie first came out. Yeah. Correct. Is that right? Did I nail it? You nailed it. Wow! Nailed it. I know my own house. You know, Patrick's <laughs> tearing hearts out of people. Well, yeah. <laughs> you know, oh, that's mm -hmm. why he's so dangerous. He was so dangerous because with his bare hands, he could literally tear your heart out of your chest. Wow. Yep. What other movie has shown footage like that? Mm. It's not as good as the guy pole vaulting on stage using a pool cue. <laughs> <laughs> now, that's the best part of the movie. You tell me you didn't try it a couple hundred times. Oh, yeah, it snapped about five and a half. Yeah, right. <laughs> it was a great technical move. It was, I don't know how they did it. For its time. Yeah, it was. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, if you don't know what we're talking about, it'll be on TNT or TBS this weekend. Right. I'm sure. Well, for the catch up. For the nine millionth time. Mm. It's a real rowdy crowd that would throw beer bottles at a blind singer. Okay. <laughs> Man, that's pretty cool. Who's behind what, a cage or yeah. whatever? Mm -hmm. All hogged up because you don't want him injured. <laughs> Hit the blind guy. Yeah. <laughs> that's uh, quite the sport in the Midwest. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's NASCAR by day. <laughs> throw beer mugs at the blind guitarist by night. <laughs> Well, uh, that's very exciting, Terry. It is pretty exciting. Is it, is it already in production? Well, it, uh, it is. It, they are. They just said oh, that geez. they're doing it. It's not. It hasn't started yet because they're getting all the stars together. Well, right. Which you, I'm who, sure it'll be quite the collection of stars. <laughs> yeah. Right. And I'm sure Patrick Swayze. They at least have him for a cameo. No. I mean, it's not like the man is busy or anything. Right. No, uh, you're right. But no, I'm, like I told you, no Swayze. No. He refuses. Well, they're just not asking him. They're How not, can they not ask him? He was the best caller in the business. I, Right boot. <laughs> That's all he had to say. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. <laughs>
Well, it's got matinee written all over it. I'll see you there. <laughs> <laughs> you will see me there because I'll be there for every showing that they have for this oh, movie. Wow. Mm. It'll be about three days. Anyway. <laughs> the last call. I'm very excited about Roadhouse 2, Terry. Mm. Finally, all my letters have not gone to waste. Right. Uh, what else? What else is going on besides uh, Roadhouse 2 and Tom Cruise on the boat of Scientology? <laughs> yeah. and, <laughs> 440-footer, right? And uh, our, fir our first lady who wants to be uh, America's next top supermodel. On her way down this morning, Terry, there's a, there's a lot going on. Busy day. Oh, uh, so busy. <laughs> Not as busy as the ditch digging days, but still. Right. <laughs> well, Mariah Carey oh, apparently geez. had a little wardrobe malfunction during a concert recently in Germany. However, nobody really got a picture, uh, so unfortunately I can't give her one to you. Her whole life is a malfunction. Anyway. <laughs> her whole life. <laughs> Some stupid technical guy. Turn the lights off when yeah. it happened. <laughs> You're on the air. Hello. Hello. Yes. Hi, um, I was just calling because I was listening earlier when you guys were talking about Scott getting ready for his wedding, and my best friend is a massage therapist, and I wanted to see if maybe he would want a free massage for his wedding. Listen, he's numb right now, like every guy is before his wedding. A massage is going to do nothing for any uh, of his muscles. But if you're offering free massages, uh, I am very stressed out by the notion of hot shot getting married. Well, right. and the fact that you have to sit by the... Uh, right. Okay. And I still have this kink in my neck from the ditch digging days, Terry. Wow. And I've never been able to work out. Uh, it's very nice of you, and I'm sure uh, your friend would be happy to know you're giving away her massage work for free. Right. Uh, but... Uh, well, she she works at a spa in downtown Seattle, but are you she also interested? Has a private I'll practice. Take a pass, so. but thank you. He's, he's been groomed enough this week. I've never had a massage, and he's not a massage yeah. guy. He doesn't like to be touched. Well, well, that's for release. Isn't his, that crazy? Does his wife to be know that the man doesn't like to be touched? I, I, I don't know. Maybe that's, maybe that's the best part about <laughs> yeah. him to her. Yeah. That's why she said yes. Oh, good. I don't have to touch you. You're right. That's why I'm taller. You mean I can marry you and never have to touch you? <laughs> is, is that a promise? Can I have that in writing? I can live here, right? Okay. Wow. Yeah. So, uh, you've been groomed this week more than ever in your life. Is that fair to say? More than any dog ever has been, Oh, jeez. Yes. Whoa! <laughs> but as far as you're concerned, this is beyond anything you've ever come close to as far as uh, as uh, the, the amount of grooming. Just looking at your eyebrows is very weird right now. Because I get my eyebrows waxed like mm -hmm. a little girl, but I'm not used to you having your eyebrows shaped like that. I did it last year. I do it like once a year. I succumbed <laughs> to, like, some of these... Uh, what would you call them, Terry? These grooming deals? Gay uh, stuff? Yeah, yeah gay stuff. stuff. I have succumbed to this gay stuff about <laughs> seven, eight years ago, man, when they started throwing all this free service stuff at me. Mm -hmm. I, I quickly gave in and started doing them regularly. But to see you with your, with your eyebrow shape like that, it's almost sad. It goes good with the Iron Maiden shirt. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it does. It looks great. <laughs> the tanning you're doing, the facial you got, yeah. the smooth, the prettiness. I grew, I grew up on the east side. The gay instincts are still there. It's too much for me. <laughs> But no massage. No massage? I'll take a pass, thank okay. you. Yeah, well, yeah, you said unless it's full release, right? Oh, wow, that's what you said. Jeez, Stephen. Mm -hmm. What is Stephen. your deal that's today? That's what she said. Well, Coincidentally, Stephen has some rub and a tug advertisements he was looking at right now. <laughs> wow. Would you like to share those numbers with us, Stephen? I'll be in an appearance later. Oh, okay. <laughs> the T-Man. A new study may put the brakes on dialing and driving. A new study by the insurance industry says yeah. drivers talking on the phone are four times more likely to get into a crash. Ow! It's the first study to say using a hands-free device is just as risky as a regular cell phone. Right. State lawmakers are concerned about the problem, and so are local drivers. Mm. I think people should just hang up and drive. <clears throat> yeah, it's kind of a distraction. You see people yelling and arguing on the phone and not paying attention when they're driving. Wow. That's taking note of a the lot of people. Bill to out make there. driving and talking on phones illegal died in committee, but lawmakers plan to bring it back next year. Yeah, I gotta be the first to tell you, Terry, and acknowledge the fact that uh, I'll be texting while driving, and then realize, you know, I just didn't look at the road for the past thirty seconds. I don't know how I'm still here. Yeah, <laughs> true. Alive and kicking. Mm -hmm. I'll be like finishing up a text and be like, all of a sudden I'll look out to see what's going on, on the road. I'll be like, I probably didn't look for a good twenty, thirty seconds. Right. Well, you're that good of a driver. Maybe I used my peripheral vision and didn't realize, but I, I'll think those thoughts to myself. Mm -hmm. That was probably really way too dangerous. Yeah. And yet, man, was that a brilliant page I just sent? Yeah. I'm sure she's, <laughs> she's going to want me now. Whoa. Oh, wait till they get the one about the mud flaps. <laughs> talking about my, my wife, of course, Terry. Of course she's going to want me now. Right. Mm -hmm. So did you like the picture or what? Oh, geez. <laughs> That's me. It's really me. I'm telling you. Trust me. <laughs> I can prove it. <laughs> 
And it's interesting too that they found that hands-free devices doesn't it doesn't really make a difference. Well, the either. thought is that you're so consumed in the call you're making, right. Terry, that it's not the actual dialing or the texting right. or stuff like that. It's that you're so engulfed, you're so engrossed in the phone call right. that you forget the fact that you're operating heavy machinery. Yes. Until you drive into a semi. <laughs> wow. And then you remember. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Behind the wheel of a vehicle. So take this to, uh, into consideration when you're on your phones on the way to work this morning, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. But still call in, right? right of course. <laughs> of course. Well, call this program. It's not a distraction. And don't forget to text, too. <laughs> right. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> text, texting uh, number is 97373. Mm. I mean, you gotta send us your wizard sleeve comments of course even if it causes you a minor fender bender it's well worth it okay <laughs> but that is uh, something uh, certainly to be aware of uh, don't you know right yeah i'll forget about it about mm, 7 20 <laughs> so your phone rings in your car right yes what else going on in the world uh, pasty dave played the cue to call early this morning terry oh, okay wow. So people are lined up trying to win a Summer Jam 2005 tickets because we're inside of two weeks away. We are a week and a half away to be precise on Summer Jam 2005. Cool. The first local appearance, to my knowledge, Terry, for Nas. I don't remember him being uh, at any other Summer Jam. I know mm -hmm. that for sure. I don't know if he's been to the Paramount or like uh, been a part of some... Concert at the uh, the Tacoma Dome or Key Arena or something like that. I, I have no knowledge of him ever being around. Right. Did, does anyone have any bells ringing on when Nog was here? I bet he's going to ruin it for everyone. No, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> Why? When was he here? Uh, he was here for a hip hop show. Um, what's that big event in the uh, Seattle Center? Bumper shoot. Bumper, Bumper shoot. shoot. Yeah. Oh, he was. Really? Yeah. Wow. Are you sure about that? Mm -hmm. All right. mm. When was that? Like last year, the year before last that. summer. Mm -hmm. hmm. right. Shut it, Vinny. <laughs> yeah, but it's his first appearance this month, at least. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay, dude. P probably Vinny's last appearance on the show. Right. <laughs> Thanks, dude. No, I'm glad he told us the truth. I was being very honest that I had no recollection, but uh, uh, I'm, I have no problem with it. Okay. Flowers will, but I have no problem with right. it. Right. Anyhow. Uh, <laughs> What else is going on, Terry? What else is happening? Well, according to a new study by Dutch researchers, um, chubby women are in better shape than chubby men. I love the Dutch researchers. Yeah, that's now right. Now chubby women. <laughs> Come over here, tubby. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you want... Uh, you're oversized Pretty clogs. interesting. What yeah. is that chubby women... Heavy, heavy women are in better shape than heavy men. Yeah. And now it's heavy well, women. Well, chubby, are we talking heavy. chubby or heavy? Well... Big difference, Terry. Is there... Really? Okay. I didn't know that there was. Of course was there is. trying to be... I, I, okay, chubby. Uh, Vinny, tell them the difference. Uh, last year at Bomber Shoot. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I know. <laughs> What's with your voice, dude? It's getting more meek by the second. I didn't even say nothing uh, yet. All right. Well, you, you did about bumper shoes. Uh huh. <laughs> all right. Anyway, uh, chubby women uh -huh. in better shape than chubby men. Yes. Wow. Mm -hmm. and well, you know why that is, Terry? Why? Because there's a big pool of black men who are more than willing to sex up these chubby white women, Terry. <laughs> yeah. And chubby men are not getting sex. Oh. And that's why the chubby women are in better shape. Hmm. Thanks to Vinny's peeps. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, you're welcome. <laughs> These chubby white women, Terry, yeah? are getting fully revved up. Hey, hey, hey. Mm -hmm. mm. Hotshot would tell us about dudes on his football team. At the end of the game, there'd be some big chubby white women waiting for them uh, to drive them home. Oh, man. And, and Scott would look at them and say, why, dude, why? You're a good-looking guy. What's going on here? <laughs> and they turn to him and say, oh, she's just my ride. Right. <laughs> That's what we all say. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Isn't that pretty much the way it checked out? I think you nailed it. She's just my ride. I'm sure she is. In yeah. more ways than one. <laughs> hey, put a helmet and shoulder pads on your girlfriend, dude. <laughs> you can use her as nose wow. guard. Mm -hmm. That's nice. Well, uh, Terry, what other explanation do you have? Do they give any reasons yes, as to why? Do. Oh, they do. As yes, to why, they give two. As to why chubby women. Does it say chubby? Does it say heavy? What does it, it say? It says chubby. It says chubby women. Mm -hmm. Now, what would be the true definition of chubby? Where do you fall in the range of chubbiness? Hmm. When it comes to your body, Terry, when it comes to other parts of your anatomy, I have my complete understanding of when you're I, chubby I guess and when I'm you're chubby, not. I oh, guess. Wow. Oh, Terry. Jeez. Come on. Terry, we weren't looking well, for any wait, kind of admission. Well, you said a definition. Uh, well, so I, I guess I'm thinking about myself and what I, I, I would say that I'm chubby. Oh, jeez. Really? Yeah. And you're fluffy. 
Well, that's really <laughs> sad to learn. I don't want to work with anyone. I know. Uh, it's weird. Went over here already. <laughs> Overweight people are scary. She's going to have to get her own studio upstairs now. I got, I got, <laughs> okay. I got one upstairs. I got one to my uh, right. And you're telling me you are now, too? Well, I guess, yeah. Uh, no, We're taking no, over. <laughs> Jub fest. <Yeah. laughs> we get together. And Terry's, just... Terry's just trying to uh, play a little psychology because she obviously has an appearance coming up soon. And she oh, likes no. people coming up to her mm-hmm. saying how good she looks. Anyway. She's trying to stave off the, the blows that she feels coming her way. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Or she well, just, I mean, you asked for a definition, and I can't. She's just preparing us that. for all the banana bread cravings she's uh, having lately. Oh, is that, that brick there again? Oh, yeah, she, it is. She's gonna butter both sides this time. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's great. I love that. <laughs> that's perfect. She even butters the middle. Anyhow, cuts <laughs> I, bu- I butter each bite. <laughs> butter is what I do. It's a butter sandwich. Damn shape. <laughs> What is their reasoning as to why chubby women in much better shape than chubby men? Uh, they give two reasons. I'll be honest. I think it's because chubby women have more sex than chubby men. Well, they say that the... Do chubby women have more sex than chubby men? No doubt about it. Oh, jeez. Women in general have more sex than men because yeah, they're, they're able to have it whenever they want. Guys sure. are easy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> guys will take anything, right? Oh, jeez. Uh, Most guys have done a girl bigger than them at some point. Huh? Okay. Okay, just me, sorry. <laughs> uh, that'd be quite the accomplishment, by the way. Yeah, maybe not me, but close. I'd like to meet that woman. No, you wouldn't. <laughs> Talk about a nose guard. Anyway. <laughs> First reason they give is that men are more likely to have diabetes or pre-diabetes that screws up their ability to tolerate carbohydrates. Men are more diabetics than women. Yes. That's a shame. That's not fair. And uh, the second reason they give... Get more diabetes, women. <laughs> <laughs> so what, if you're diabetic, you can't have sex? We're not talking well, about sex. sex. It has nothing to do We're with the it. one who changed the article into sex talk. The article uh, was just talking about overall health. All right. That's why you listen when Terry talks once in a while. That's <laughs> why you're a little confused. Right. And the fact that Terry Free is reading the story, of course, is always the source of confusion. Yes, go ahead. I'm um, sorry. The second reason they give is that overweight men are more likely to have uh, extra abdominal fat, which uh, hurts lung capacity. Well, I thought women's body fat uh, percentages were always higher than men's. I don't know. So how does this all make sense? Well, abdominal fat is... Uh, yeah. That's the key. Yep. It's because of that cortisol commercial. <laughs> cortisol. I would have seen that, like, all the time during their soap operas and have ordered mounds of product and all of a sudden they're losing weight artificially. Hmm. Yeah, you're supposed to be fat. Right. You're taking that pill. Be fat like the way the Lord intended you to be. <laughs> God. Okay. The way Bon Bon's intended uh-huh. you to be. All right. Anyhow... Uh, let us uh, go to the proverbial uh, phones to find a, 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 a winner. You're on the air. Hello. Hey, what color am I? You're on the air. Hello. <laughs> You're on the air. Hello. Yes. Hi, calling about summer down tickets. Too old. You're on the air. One eight six 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 three T man is the number to call. I was calling about Neil Diamond tickets. Terry, we're getting down to the nitty gritty. All right. Yes. We're getting down to the final ten days before Summer Jam. Right. I still have a nice size pile of tickets. Oh, look at it. And uh, the right people have to win those tickets. Okay. Because I'm starting to see the light at the uh, end of the tunnel that is Summer Jam, Terry. Mm-hmm. And when I'm out there. Because I will be there. Mm-hmm. I want to look out the crowd, and I want to see Grandma Betsy sitting there <laughs> knitting a sweater. Okay. Maybe she's sending her granddaughter. You're on the air. Hello. Hello. Yeah, no, too old. Wow. Maybe she's just a young smoker. Oh, just. <laughs> yeah, maybe that's it. <laughs> You're on the air. Hello. Hello. You're on the air. Wow. All the oldies. Mm. Good times. Mm-hmm. Great all this. <laughs> Hello? Yes, I'm calling for Summer Jam tickets. Am I the too winner? Old. Too old. What? <laughs> okay. There, Do you want to give an age range? Then maybe we can... Uh... 7 to 12. Okay. <laughs> wow. You're on the air. Hello? G-Man? Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> she sounds hot. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You're on the air. Hi there. You're on the air. Okay. You're on the air. You're on the air. Hello? You're on the air. Hello? You're on the air. On the air. 
Honey, 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 honey. Boy, we're going to get far here today, I can tell you. Honey, 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 honey. I can always tell when a contest is coming to the end. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Guess we're not giving any away no. today. <laughs> or at least right now. Is it too much to ask, Terry, that a person that really could get the maximum enjoyment out of Summer Jam win these tickets? Is that too much to ask? No, it's not. Am I asking too much? No. I'm here. Hello? Is it too much to ask for people to turn their radios down, Terry? Is that too much to ask? No, and you've been asking that for... <laughs> yeah, okay. Hello? Obviously, we played the cue to call oh, so early this morning, Terry, that people aren't prepared. They've lost their minds. Mm -hmm. I don't need to hear this show twice. Okay. <clears throat> it's good to hear the message twice, though. So, yes. I'm going to... Forget all the calls that are dialing in right now, Terry. They're all being put in timeout. Oh, jeez. And we'll play the cue to call maybe uh, sometime before 10 o'clock. Okay. Oh, we will, because I will be giving tickets away before 10 o'clock. But okay. they're not ready now. So right, where's then. the young smart girls? Are they still sleeping? <laughs> Long walks home. <laughs> okay. Without cell phones. So get your act together. Because they people. couldn't find them in the dark. <laughs> Get your act together, yes. I mean, maybe you should take some calls, Stephen. Maybe uh, it's something about uh, my approach this morning that's way off. You're on the air. Morning, T-Man. Good morning. It's Stephen. How are you doing? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Not your that approach. I think well. it's wow. <laughs> that works real well. The voice of disappointment. Yeah. Oh, oh. Never rang clearer. <laughs> she almost had tickets. They all almost had tickets, David. And yet no one has them. What a conundrum. It's a shame. Mm. Like our parents used to tell us, get your act together. Yes. <laughs> Apparently none of us listened. <laughs> well, I'm being very serious. I'm going to uh, just ignore the rest of these phone calls, Terry, because I'm not getting a good feeling about it, and we'll go back to them later. Okay. All right? Mm -hmm. It's a shame. I'm really disappointed. What else is going on, please? Well, in Riverside, Cal Tell me more about the chubby girls. Oh, well, <laughs> I gave you all the information I could do possibly to, give do you Do something to cheer me that. up. Well, I... Let me see the article. Okay. Yes. Tantalizingly round, yes. <laughs> oh, jeez. They do talk about how both genders have gotten, you know, quite overweight. Uh, Dr. Schweitzer, Terry, yes? he didn't mention this, yes, says, quote, It is very possible that women are better equipped for energy storage due to their inherent need to feed their offspring, mm -hmm. therefore are able to carry weight better and in a more healthy fashion than their male counterparts. Because well, of offspring? So the next time you're complaining <laughs> about... Uh, being the ones to have to carry children and all the pain and laboring that goes on there, Terry. Yes. Realize that there's an upside. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you can be grotesquely overweight and healthier than the the men who are in the same condition. Right. That would be a great position right. to be in. And heaven knows you're a couple of weeks away from that, Terry. Yeah, I told you. All right. The T-Man. And now, representing butt rockers worldwide, carrying sod from Tacoma to Everett and every city in between, president of the Blue Collar Workers, even though he wears a tank top, here's Dump Truck Guy. How are you, dump truck guy? I'm doing awesome, dude. How are you doing? Good. What can we do for you this morning? I, I just had a little comment on this freaking jackasses on the cell phones that can't multitask. Oh! Whoa. I mean, you get the guy jackasses. in the class and do like 45 mile an hour, freaking phone to the shoulder, right, right crap down on his notepad, all over the road, don't know where he's going, running off the side of the shoulder, then you honk at me, freaking flips you off. What's up with that? Well, maybe it's easier for... 
folks like you who have a vehicle that doesn't go faster than 28 miles an hour are able to talk on your cell phone and multitask while driving, but others who have faster vehicles may have a tougher time. No, man, this thing hauls ass. Watch out. Get out of my way because I'm coming through. Speaking of getting out of his way because he's coming through. Yeah? The question that I have, Terry, is... Is dump truck guy ready to get up on that stage ten days from now Ooh. and hand and hand out fifty thousand dollars to one of the summer jam ticket winners? That's the question I have because he, whether he likes it or not, Terry, whether he's prepared or not, mm -hmm. is your a master of ceremonies mm -hmm. all by himself because Constance the Bitchler has backed out. Ooh, wow. wow! Obviously, out. obviously, the fear factor. Exactly. Without even Joe Rogan hanging around, Terry. Wow. The fear factor too much. No for your bitch bag. And uh, Dumpy all by himself, not even phased by that prospect, Terry. He is ready to get up on that stage. And I'm just wondering, does he have anything prepared? Does he have any angles he wants to attack as far as being the game show host up on that big old stage? Or is he just going to look like a long-haired jackass? That's the question <laughs> I have. <laughs> Lightning pole on that one. Yeah, <laughs> uh, w, is, there wow. any, is there going to be any props you need? Is there anything you have rehearsed? Is there anything you have ready for action? Or you're just going to wing it like a long-haired jackass? <laughs> I, I, I think I'm just going to wing it like wow. a long-haired jackass. <laughs> <laughs> Terry, that's going to be one of the highlights of Summer Jam. Oh, I know. That is going to be worth the price of admission alone. When Dumb Truck Guy gets up on that stage with those two oversized dice, <laughs> like the ones he has hanging from his mirror right now, yeah. lacking <laughs> minus the fuzz, uh, he's going to tell one lucky Summer Jam ticket winner to roll them their dice. And see if they win fifty grand, and then imagine if that person rolls the dice and wins fifty grand. Imagine dump truck guy <laughs> and some hopefully hot babe jumping up and down together. She's grabbing it, pulling, e the neck. pulling each other's hair. <laughs> <laughs> Her no, I, I, I can't wait, dude. That's what I don't understand. These people calling up to win tickets aren't they automatically throwing in the hat to win that money? Yes, the people who win they're tickets. They're not freaking excited. What the hell, man? Fifty thousand. Freaking dollars. Yeah. Not, not only is it a chance for $50,000, but as we talked about, Terry, the person who gets up on stage and is playing the big old game show at Summer Jam with mm -hmm. Dump Truck Guy has yeah. the right to say, end it right here, Mr. Dump a Truck a Guy. I want to take the five grand and not even risk rolling these dice. Nice. And then, you big pussy. Well, then, I'll tell you what. I, I'm not going to let that be the end of it, because that's a lame way to end it. Then I'm going to pick someone else out who gets to roll the dice. Someone's well, going to roll them near dice. Yes. All right. Dump truck guy's not going to be wasted. His talents, his overwhelming dump truck guy talents are not going to be wasted on stage by someone who just gets up there and says, give me the five grand guarantee. Right. Someone's going to be wasting my time. That's good to know. Someone's going to roll them near dice, Dumpy, and get her done. <laughs> Man, I'm freaking excited. This is Pure freaking well, it would have been pure freaking action if you, like the rest of us, weren't taking the ball and chain. Oh, oh really? Dump truck guy uh, <laughs> requested Terry yeah? in a very peculiar fashion at Summer Jam with all the scantily dressed ladies yeah. hanging yeah. around. Oh, and all Ooh, dumpy. He called up the other day and asked if he could get a press pass, a backstage pass. He asked if he could get some clearance for a Joanne Million Hairs, okay. his lovely wife. Yeah. Oh. Oh, all I know. Right, man. That's my old lady, dude. Way off All I know is this. Yeah? My old lady stays home. Oh! <laughs> That's because you got a little rugrats. You got to take care of them. Well, you have rugrats, too. Who's taking care of them? Ah, uh, somebody. The neighbor. <laughs> the neighbor. <laughs> Just put him out in the street. <laughs> Leave him in the car. Welcome in the yeah. freaking house. Call it good. Wow. Call it good. <laughs> Get her dead. <laughs> <laughs> Terry, can you stand it? Can Can't you, stand it. Can you, can you wait at all for the moment that Dutch truck guy gets up on stage with his jean shorts and his mullet? And, just <laughs> and his wife beat her on? <laughs> no, he's, he's not going to even have anything. I'm, I'm sure he's going to go completely dump truck guy topless. Ooh. Really? Yeah. Right. But he's he right. Nice and freaking fresh for Hard. Yeah. Maybe a pair of suspenders, <laughs> but nothing else. No, but he's right. That is very exciting. Oh. I mean, uh, I think that's mm. awesome. Man, I, I could change somebody's life, dude. Fifty yeah. K, man. Fifty thousand right? dollars is well, forty nine after I get my cut, but okay. <laughs> is a life changing kind of money indeed, Terry. It definitely is.
I mean, it's not going to change you from one class to like leaps and bounds above another, but it's gonna it's gonna allow it's gonna you help to people out yeah, quite a to bit. do some things that you weren't able to do uh, for the calendar year that is two thousand five. You can go on a nice long vacation. You can pay Get off free. every bill you ever had. Yes, I mean that is life changing. It is. You get five hookers and a big bag of cocaine. Oh, okay. <laughs> Wow. That, that, is an, that is another option. Is. I'm going to call you for summer gym tickets right now. Jeez. But why stop at five hookers? Once you're at five, don't you go ten, Terry? Gosh, oh. I guess so. With fifty thousand dollars, you got the money for it. Yeah. Yes. Get some hookers yeah, and cocaine. Money. But then there's no cocaine left for you. <laughs> okay, dump truck guy is ready. Whoa. He's excited, Terry. Yeah, that's good though. He's pumped up. He is. Can't wait. All right, Dumpy. I got pre funk this this Sunday M and M concert. Got to check oh, it out. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Then the management. week out the week after Summer Jam, backstage Marley Crew, baby. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Got it all. Yeah. Got it all ready. Can't Terry. freaking wait. The summer, like of, the summer, the yeah. summer of two thousand five is going to be the off the chain. Blockbuster summer for dump truck guy, indeed. Yes. All right. Jeez. Mm-hmm. It's very exciting. Non-stop craziness. Oh, oh man, it's great. <laughs> Is there all the things you can do with $50,000, <laughs> <laughs> Oh, wow. <laughs> See, Pat O'Brien knows, Terry, because he has $50,000. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> message. If you agree with this. Who wouldn't agree to that, Terry? Uh, if you're buying, I'm in. <laughs> you're right. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you can only do that with $50,000. I guess so. <laughs> right, that cost money. Yeah, Terry, what else is going on in the world, please? Well, in Riverside, California, they've got a new program for their worst DUI offenders. Oh, 4 p.m. Mm-hmm. Uh, they've started equipping them with a new ankle bracelet that tests them for their, that tests their sweat for alcohol. Alcohol shows up in a person's sweat. Yes. It does. It turns the hot shot. Mm. Alcohol turns. <laughs> it shows up in a person's perspiration. Oh, yeah. Going to the open gym in college on a Saturday morning. The whole gym reeks of alcohol. Okay. So, because it's coming out through their pores? Yes. <laughs> mm-hmm. Disgusting. Wow. Well, who goes to the gym on Saturday morning after a night of drinking? But anyway. Oh, all right. In college when you had energy and all right. drive. And- I, I remember those days. <laughs> Anyhow. Mm-hmm. Uh, they make them wear ankle bracelets. Yes. Mm-hmm. And they're able to detect through the sweat. Pouring out of their ankles. Right. Whether or not they've been drinking. Because plus... always on a Friday night, Terry, I have sweat pouring out of my ankles. Uh, good. <laughs> right. <laughs> it's very attractive to the uh, to the ladies, Terry. Put well, your ankles on the treadmill. <laughs> right. So the ankle bracelet will uh, be able to be identified by the authorities as mm-hmm. to whether this person has been drinking or not. Yes. And then and then it also has a GPS uh System in it. See, it's pretty simple to get around, Terry. All you got to do is just put a little couple of glides of speed stick on your ankle. Okay. Because we're all using speed stick. That's from the internet. You're so f***ing hot. Well, it's very exciting. I'm glad the the authorities are coming up with new and creative ways to keep the drunks off the street. Yeah. Um, I want to f***. Mm-hmm. What else is going on, Terry? What else is happening? Uh, here's an interesting case uh, about a wife who has been acquitted of killing her husband. Happened uh, just recently. Actually, uh, this this married couple were married a couple of years and apparently had a pretty volatile relationship. Oh, they're the ones. <laughs> well, I know. Yes. One evening, the husband came into the home, found his wife in a chat room or on online in a chat room. Uh, I figured it out, Terry. Yes. Uh, they she, had a chat room. she had a chat room built in one of the well, rooms of her house. Yes. Next to the wine cellar. Right. Well, they, they, they begun fighting. They began That's fighting. That's when you know you're really addicted. You build a <laughs> chat room in your house. Hey, Bob, so what have you been up to? Right. <laughs> they began fighting. And, go private. <laughs> um, the husband like started, you know, dogging his wife, talking about how too skinny she was, and that she didn't have any behind. She had oh, no she, ass. You told her she had no ass. Yeah, that'll, and that really set her off. Well, that'll set any woman off. Terry. Well, it did. All right, all right. Let me see if I understand this straight. Uh, this couple married two years, not getting along too well. Right. She's in a chat room. Right. He comes home, walks up to the bedroom or wherever the computer is, Terry, mm-hmm. and sees his wife chatting with other guys, yes. which obviously could set any guy off. Sure. I mean, that's not what you're hoping to get out of your marriage. Right. Is to come home from work or wherever he was coming home from and seeing your wife uh, chatting it up with other guys in Butt Munch, Iowa. Mm-hmm. Not good. All right. Right. 
Wow. <laughs> well, that's what Butt Munch, Iowa, has to say to uh, oh. to the desperate housewife there, Terry. Right. So he gets angry, yes. which was his right to do, and starts uh, singling out portions of her body that need serious work, which is his right to do. Mm -hmm. Okay. And he starts telling her how she has no ass. No ass. She's too skinny. And what does she do? She goes uh, in a rage. And yeah, she she got uh, highly upset, grabbed a knife, and killed him. That's nice. Yeah. And he said she was acquitted. She was acquitted because they say uh, that uh, there was insufficient evidence to Perfect. convict her. Well, enjoy your marriage there, Hotshot. <laughs> hey, thank you so much. Yes. That's the story he wanted three days before his wedding day, Terry. What? That this is what you have to look forward to two years from now. So what's the answer? You got a fat ass. Ow! I mean, if you can't say it's too small, what's the answer? Mm, that's See, that's answer. what saves marriages right there. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So she stabbed him multiple times. It just says that uh, she grabbed a knife, stabbed him, and Sta killed him. And there wasn't enough evidence? Like her handprints on the knife? Insufficient mm -hmm. evidence. Fingerprints, I guess. <laughs> the Brooklyn Supreme Court. <laughs> Real detective. This, this happened in New York? <laughs> mm-hmm. The Supreme Court in Brooklyn. Mm -hmm. Went all the way to the Supreme Court. Mm -hmm. Sandra Day O'Connor's last tour of duty. Well, that wouldn't be the Brooklyn Supreme Court. But anyway, <laughs> sounds good anyway, doesn't it? She's like, not guilty. Okay, I'm You're right. <laughs> I retire. <laughs> Are most women happy to hear they have a small butt? No? Well, she wasn't. She didn't he, like being called too he didn't skinny. Say, he didn't say small butt. He said no. Oh, oh wow. Ass. And there's a difference between a small ass and no ass. People who have no ass are just ridiculous looking. Just ridiculous. <laughs> I mean, you've seen people with absolutely no ass. It's very scary. It's right. it's just not right. How do they sit? Oh jeez. <laughs> and whether this makes a difference as to how she, you know, her not having an ass. She she was Latino, mm -hmm. so no oh. Latino woman wants to hear she, she has, has no, no ass. ass. Right. Mm, fiery Latin temper. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, let me show you it. <laughs> well, this is just. Arr a very sad story, Terry. All the way around. Guy, poor bastard, comes home, gets all pissed off because his wife's chatting again right. to strange guys again. She's got lube sitting next to her again. Wow. <laughs> Women use lube, too, when they masturbate, don't they? I, I don't know. No. Ask him the wrong guy. <laughs> I'd like to see someday, but never right. have. Again. <laughs> That's why they have the big five-gallon tub at Costco. Hey, Terry, if she's if she's <laughs> chatting, <laughs> yes. I'm like I'll kill Bruce back again. If she's chatting and she's talking to obviously other guys, saying things she shouldn't be saying as a married woman, right? Shouldn't she expect her husband to get pissed off? Shouldn't well, she expect her husband to make comments sure. that she's going to have to deal with, Terry? She did wrong, right? And then what does she do when her husband vents a little bit? She stabs him and kills him. Not a great deal for him. No. <laughs> Not good. <laughs> the strength of the American marriage. It's really going places. <laughs> I know. Put those in your vows. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thou shalt not kill me when I'm chatting on the computer. All right, let me see if I can find a <laughs> Summer Jam ticket winner to be there witnessing and maybe even up on stage winning $50,000 in yeah! cash by the Summer Jam 2005 rules and regulations. Yes, you're on the air. Hi. Hi. Good morning. How are you? Good. Who's this? This is Molly. Molly. Uh huh. Not easy finding a a Molly these days, Terry. True. But here she is. Yeah. How old are you, Molly? Twenty three. Uh huh. And uh, what can you tell us about yourself, there, Mollard? <laughs> um. Well, I just got done sitting in traffic because I'm on my way to work. But, um... Well, if you're done sitting in traffic, you're you're at work, aren't you? Uh, almost, almost. Oh, you're still... You're, the traffic's freed up and you're driving at a normal rate of speed now, is what you're <laughs> saying. Is that right? About about to pull into work, but I'm early, so it's good. What do you do? Um, I actually work two jobs, so I have a 14-hour day ahead of me today. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I work... Um, the last half of my day is at a tanning salon, and the first mm -hmm. half... <laughs> Those girls are always hot. Yes. And dark. Uh, what are you doing at Tanning Salon? Push the um, button. Yeah. <laughs> Go. 30 minutes, yeah. right? <laughs> Let me turn the dial. So what do you do? Sprays them down. Um, I actually just sell tans. And it's not that difficult, but it's a really small one, so it's nice because I get to learn about small business. 
I have my business degree. Oh, I bet you've seen a lot of small business and working in tanning salons over the years. I could definitely give her the small business. All right. You're supposed to turn your back, Molly. Uh, all right. So tanning salon is one of your jobs. What's the other? Um, I work for a. I, I'm an administrative assistant. Mm hmm. For a office full of guys or what? Um, well, it's an office. Most of the salesmen are men, but they're always out. Yes, so I work with I'm women. sure they are. I see her being a very effective worker amongst an office full of guys, Terry. Mm. <laughs> She's got that giggle that obviously is just reeking of her sucking up to me, Terry, trying to me to get me to give her tickets. Sure. Ah! It's working. <laughs> oh, it is working. Right. There's no doubt about it. It's worked for Terry for years. <laughs> give her tickets every day. Uh, <laughs> Molly. Yeah. Do you really seem like, do you really feel as though you're the type to be in that Summer Jam crowd are you, with a full understanding of what the Summer Jam crowd is in itself? Are you aware of what goes on there? Can you handle that? Actually, I've never been to Summer Jam. I had a feeling you hadn't. Mm. You have that innocent sound to you, Molly. Oh, my goodness. It's almost bordering on clueless. Ooh. And Little I'm, do you know. And I'm <laughs> just wondering, whatever, Molly. Little I'm just you. wondering <laughs> if you are prepared and able to handle what it takes to be amongst the Summer Jam crowd for a hot, sweltering eight, nine, ten hours of summer fun. I, I wanted to go every year, but I work full time while going to school, so I've never been able to. But this one is on a Saturday. Oh, yeah. And that's good now. And you're ready. <laughs> and you're ready. I'm ready. This is the first year that I've had a job Monday through Friday, so. Mm -hmm. And you're ready. What would yeah. you wear to Summer Jam there, Mallard? Um, well, considering that it's probably going to be pretty hot, I'd probably wear a skirt. A skirt? Um, oh, yeah. Or shorts, so I can run around. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you're a runner, are you, Molly? <laughs> when you're running around. There's a, there's a track there. So. Yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> Gotta get on the blocks fast, though. Yeah. Uh, and uh, skirt. Anything else you'd like to share with us as far as your summer jam attire? Um. Well, I don't know what people wear, so maybe like well, a bathing suit top. <laughs> yes, that's a, that's a good way to go. Of course, everyone brings because they are uh, in a position to have to bring six changes of clothing. <laughs> All right. Uh -huh. Are you prepared to bring six changes of clothing? <laughs> I'm not going to get into right now why, but trust me, you need six changes of clothing. Okay, if I need to. Mm-hmm. Terry, what do you think of old Mollard here? I like her. You like her? Yes, she sounds do. sweet. She does. Who are you going to bring with you, Molly? Um, I would probably bring you put uh, one of my girlfriends. Wow. <laughs> You're going to what? I'd probably bring my best girlfriend. You don't have a boyfriend right now, Molly? You sound like the girlfriend type. I sound like a girlfriend type? Yes. You sound like the long-term relationship type. Oh, long no. A real major negative. <laughs> you don't have a boyfriend right now? Um, I do. You do. Of course yes, you do. Yes, but um, this is the first time I've been in a relationship for the past, like, four years. Because mm. so. you've been with this guy for four years. Oh, no. How uh -huh. many How many guys have you had, have you had sex with in the, in the past four years? Oh, um, <laughs> well, <laughs> that's, it's quite a bit. Quite a bit. Yes. So, so she's giving you the impression she's kind of out there a lot, huh? Oh, oh Terry, put two and two together. Wow. Well, she doesn't it. sound like it. I mean, she sounds like, you know. Mm -hmm. Doesn't sound like she's throwing it out. Ah, even though, Molly, I'm not sure I believe anything you say. Uh, you oh. have won Summer Jam tickets. Yay! All right. Achie. And you may, in ten days, be standing next to a long-haired jackass with suspenders <laughs> and jean shorts <laughs> prepared to have you win $50,000. How does that sound there, Mollard? Jean shorts that are way too high, by the way. Okay. Great. Showing half his thigh. Yes. Thank you. Molly, hang on the line. We have information for you on how to pick up your tickets and all that other fun stuff, all right? Thank you. Oh, she's a happy Molly, Terry. She we'll is. be in for our free tans later. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> the T Man. We have a couple of ladies waiting outside in the green room to be the first of the ladies to come through this door and try to be America's next top super model. What do they call it? America's top model. I should probably know this, right? Next top. <laughs> America's next top model, right? Is that right? Mm -hmm. Okay, uh -huh. yes. Terry, I took on the project. Doesn't mean enough to know everything about it. Anyway. <laughs> Uh, yes, as you may or may not have heard, the T-Man 
Yes, that great and sexy guy. He got a telephone call from the producers, from the casting directors of America's Next Top Model a couple of days ago, and they very much did their best to try to persuade that uh, amazing gentleman to uh, please help them in their cause and in finding people for the show. And uh, even though he uh, turns down almost every offer such as this from TV stations and movie studios and otherwise, he elected to take this one for whatever reason. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe it's because the thought of bringing unbelievably hot women into the studio <laughs> wasn't too difficult to have to swallow, Terry. Right. Mm -hmm. You talk about him like he's not here. Oh, jeez. And yet he is. <laughs> yeah. So many ways. Uh, anyhow, Terry, I have a pile of emails over here. A mm -hmm. pile of emails of ladies that want to be America's next top model. Mm -hmm. Yesterday I was getting a little discouraged that after the first hour of discussing it, only 30 some odd emails had come in. Well, that is no longer the case. Now there's hundreds, as you see, sitting over here on my side of the console. Yes. Of, uh, from every walk of life. If I showed you this picture, Terry, and told you I ripped it right out of the magazine, you wouldn't blink. Right. This is a woman in our listening audience, mm -hmm. damn it. This is a woman who wants to be America's next top model. Okay. And I say she, in many ways, already is. Wow. And they come in all kinds, Terry, all these emails, like I have others that look the exact opposite of this particular one. Now, maybe in person this one won't look that good. I don't know. Mm -hmm. That's what our interview process is about. But I certainly know that this one, when she comes into the studio, won't look good. <laughs> okay. And why we have fat, tattooed wenches sending us emails, I don't know. <laughs> Rudy Huxtable mustache. Uh -huh. <laughs> now that Rudy Huxtable mustache looks cute on a six-year-old. <laughs> but uh, you wonder why you haven't seen Rudy Huxtable in too many things since the Cosby show. Now you know. Mm -hmm. Doesn't look good on an adult. Man. Two women waiting outside are women that didn't even send emails, because yesterday, if you heard the show, Terry, I said, uh, Pacey, just give me the first three calls that want to come down and be the first one through the door. Right. Now, the first one waiting outside is named what? Uh, the first one is Salida. Do I have information on her? I think you might have a little something. Where is it? Is it under my uh, email here that says, T-Man, I'm a cute young Asian hottie and I would suck you off for summer jam tickets? Wow! <laughs> really? Wow, is she here? Mm, so Terry, uh, if you need summer jam tickets, you know that you get them every year. Why you send emails like this? I don't know. <laughs> She said young. Oh, Salida, is that the one over here? Yeah, yeah. 25 years old? That is her. Oh, you mean the one who's a mother of four? Whoa, Whoa man. Ooh, that is her. Lord have mercy. What the hell are these Grand Canyon vagina ladies coming in here for, Terry, trying to be America's next top model? What's the point? Mm -hmm. What? Why are you all out of breath? Man, I'll tell you something, because it's, it, having hey. the first group of people here, just people we talked to on the phone, I wasn't mm -hmm. expecting much. This girl is big time for just calling us She's on the phone. She's big time. The mother of four is big time. She is. She is. You won't be. Wow. You won't be. You'll be impressed. I'll be impressed. You will be. Not disappointed. Mm -hmm. Tall girl. Oh, tall, tall, tall girl. girl. <laughs> mm, I like them. Mm -hmm. Gotta be tall to take the magnum. She's a married mother of four. Twenty-five, Terry. Mmm. Even you hadn't gotten to four by twenty-five. No. Not even one by twenty-five. Cut it out. Really? Mm-hmm. Uh, not even one, but sense, three. Yeah. All right. Anyway. Uh, all right. right. Well, I don't know. I think we should just disqualify all mothers of four. Why? Because it's ridiculous. Uh, it's preposterous. It's absurd. We've we seen that her, pageant. right? We've done that pageant. I Remember understand. the mother? And we saw some very interesting looking women and some rather hot women on that uh, mother of two or more beauty pageant. What was three it? Or three or more. more. Mother of three or, we did a mother of three or more beauty pageant? We did. Oh, was I on crack that month? I think so. Oh, we good, all were. That was a good month. Anyhow. <laughs> This is a mother of four. Yeah. Oh, check and her out. Pasty is giving her big time uh, rave reviews here. Oh, yeah, dude. You're really going to like her. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Why am I going to like her, Pasty? <laughs> I don't know. She's just pretty hot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Have her stick in an ankle. Let me see if she's ankle model material. <laughs> ankle. You tell everything by the ankle, Terry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let me see the ankle. Bring in, what's her name, Salita? Yeah, Salita. Okay. Salita. Wait, 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 wait. Where's Vinny the Pooh? Where's Vinny the Pooh? He's, he's what? He's downstairs looking for other women that are coming down? Oh, wow. 
Yeah, if you're having trouble finding them, you know, the clueless ones driving around in circles, uh, looking like uh, decent-looking but not uh, model material ladies. Uh, <laughs> bringing them up as soon as possible. Yeah. Not the ones walking out of the shanty cafe. Get me Vey the Pooh. Have him come back up here. <laughs> I want his synopsis. I want his evaluation before I, I even see an ankle, Terry. Oh, okay. I don't know what I'm to expect here. I don't want to be, like, have... a. Uh, the equivalent of a bucket of supermodel cold water thrown on me here and be in complete shock. <laughs> okay. These are the first ones through the door. These are important ones. I know that. This, these ones set the tone. Ooh. Even though I said I only want ladies to call and not have uh, the first ladies be ones that email or have to send pictures, yes, it pretty much made it clear that these may not be the best of the crop, but... That's dangerous. Still, it sets the tone. I'm realizing that more today than I realized it yesterday. Maybe I should have been more responsible when I said just find me three, the first three that call in. Well, Pasty's evaluation is good. Pasty's evaluation. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen a real girl in five years. Yet. Pasty's evaluation. <laughs> Pasty's evaluation. Mm. Where's the poo? Find me the poo! <laughs> How about someone just turning on the radio right now? The alarm goes off. <laughs> find me the poo! Oh, they're playing that game again? I need the poo! <laughs> that was a fun one. <laughs> Grab the poo and bring it up right now. Okay. Uh -huh. mm. What's a guy got to do to get some poo around here? Oh, jeez. Stephen, if I need help, I'll ask. <laughs> All right. In the meantime, Terry, while we go on a hunt for the poo, <laughs> why don't you tell us what else is on your pile? I found this kind of interesting. There's a woman in Maryland who has decided to take advantage of those who are having an affair and she started a line of greeting cards for adulterers. Adulterers uh, need greeting cards, too. Apparently, she, that's what yes. she feels. That's what she thinks. Of course. They uh, need their own line. Yep. It's called her Secret Lover Collection. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. And she's got uh, little cards, like, for I'm Christmas. sure the Hallmark store will <laughs> display them prominently. Well, she has, you know, gotten some orders, but there, there are some retailers, she admits, that are a little hesitant. Right next to the Grandma birthday cards. Why not the adulterous? <laughs> right. Uh, greeting cards, Terry, yes. put there for all to see. Mm -hmm. This woman's going to make a fortune. Why didn't I think of this? Well, greeting uh, cards <laughs> for adulterers. It's a can't miss. Well, she says, you know, that uh, she gives examples like with soap operas. They're always having affairs and with the desperate housewives. But I don't remember the people having affairs on soap operas, ripping open a greeting card <laughs> and sitting by a warm fire, feeling all <laughs> toasty inside that they're philandering uh, counterpart there that they're having sex with in the cheesy motel, sent him a card. Well, I know the that. The card that says it all. But she's <laughs> to, my that. <laughs> to my dear side action. To my dear side action. The test was negative. Thanks for everything. <laughs> well, there you go. Mm -hmm. Maybe you should send that to her. One of them, she says, is a Christmas card that says, as we each celebrate with our families, I will be thinking of you. Jeez. That is really disastrous. Uh, that is lame, Terry. That is unfortunate. If you're going to have greeting cards to send to your adulterer, it's say really things from the heart. Like, th baby, thank you for having a bigger wiener than my husband. <laughs> <laughs> I'll never forget our time together. There you go. <laughs> what was your example again? What she was gave the, she, one of them. While we're spending time yeah, with our families, yeah, I'll we, be thinking of you. Yes. See, the, f the reason that these cards are not going to sell, the reason this woman's going to go out of business within the next three months, Terry, is that adulterers are not going to buy her cards. Not that adulterers don't send cards. Adulterers can send cards just fine the way cards are made now. Adulterers want to be more subtle. Okay. Adulterers want to send the little Ziggy card, Terry. <laughs> little Ziggy card? That's right. <laughs> they still make them for adulterers. They're no. more subtle than while we're vacationing with our families, I'll be thinking of you. <laughs> and what happens when that card is stumbled onto by the husband or the wife? It's a paper trail. Yeah. It was, it was meant for the mailman. I, I'll be missing <laughs> seeing a smiling penis, a face every day. Right. Somebody at the Hallmark store saw you in the adulterer, sec adulterer oh, geez. section. Wait, let me start over. <laughs> Stephen, if I need any help, I'll ask. Yeah, but I keep waiting for you to ask, and you never do, so... Mm -hmm. Just gotta keep stepping up to the plate. <laughs> Man. And what guys are gonna buy an uh, adulterous card for their action on the side? Men who have action on the side only don't have any feelings for that person? 
<laughs> wow, really? <laughs> Why, you want them to? Would it make you feel better if they did? Well, no, but, but I, I, I think I'd like that to know for do. all the guys I was side action for that they had feelings for me. No, but I think that unfortunately no! in affairs, both sides have a tendency to have feelings. Well, you are feelings. That's yeah, true. I, was just, I was just saying something <laughs> right out of my ass, Terry. Oh, here's the poop. <laughs> uh, that's, that's the best part about being a man is not having feelings. Mm -hmm. It's easy to turn it off. No, but the reality is that your side action, unfortunately, you do tend to garner some feelings now and again for it. Mm -hmm. And uh, the first thing I think of is, w I wish someone would make a line of cards for me in my position right now. <laughs> you know, doggy style. Whoa! Terry, these cards are stupid. They're not going to sell. And uh, this woman is a dummy who's going to be out of business in about three months. Okay. That's my prediction. All right. Not that she's a dummy. That prediction already came true years ago. <laughs> uh, but she's wasting uh, many a tree. Uh, by putting out a line of cards that uh, will have absolutely no purpose, won't even be bought by the people who are in the situation, the demographic that she's looking to sell to. The people who are having, uh, having affairs are not going to go out of buying adultery cards. They'll be so paranoid with <laughs> the, the mustache and the fake nose just in the Hallmark store looking at the cards. Right. Shoebox isn't going to buy her out. The nosy neighbor spots you looking through the, the adultery cards trying to find the right one. <laughs> Stupid. Uh, this one doesn't really say what I want to feel. <laughs> or feel what I want to say. Okay. Oh, Dump, Stephen. Okay. <laughs> uh, Pooh, have you... First off, did you find the one that apparently was waiting for you downstairs? She was completely lost, but uh, yeah, I got her. Oh, jeez. Now, Pasty described the one waiting in the green room. This mother of four... <laughs> oh, geez, <are> you <laughs> yes. Uh, well, Tyler Banks has 12 kids, so it's perfect. Uh, <laughs> he described her in very... High praise like ways. She looked pretty good. Oh, you saw her too? The one that was sitting already in the green room? Yes. Yeah, she looked pretty good. Really? That's right. Would you have guessed that she had four kids? Not at all. And the one that was driving around aimlessly downstairs, what's your uh, review on her? She looked good too. Oh, jeez. <laughs> wow. So these, <laughs> so these unsolicited, just blind <laughs> calls we took yesterday are turning out all right. You yeah. have every right to be here is what you're saying. Every right to be here. Every right wow. to be here. Wow. I think the girl who was lost looked a little bit younger than the girl that was sitting in there. but. Well, that mother of four thing will take its toll on your <laughs> on your overall look, of course. Mm -hmm. Not to mention your body. Uh -huh. Not to mention right. your vagina. But according to Vinny and, and uh, Pasty, I can't even tell. I wouldn't even have known she had any kids. Well, you would know because she says she doesn't look youthful. And well, a, yeah, I and a youthful look older. isn't something we're not uh, going to take into consideration here. Youthful is something that you don't shove away off your cover of your magazine, do you? No. Oh, she's too youthful. We can't use her. <laughs> right. <laughs> you don't hear that too often when you're trying to find uh, the next top model, right? Mm -mm. So it's something you got to take into consideration, right? Yes. Okay. <sighs> I don't know where to start here. These girls pasting the poo can make it happen. Oh, jeez. What was that now, Stephen? <laughs> Stephen just trying to say one line cleanly. Go ahead. Yes. What was that now, Stephen? Are these girls that uh, Pasty and the Pooh could make it happen with? Mm -hmm. I mean, are you interested in that? Man, what a uh, name for a hour-long show, series for the fall, Terry, on yeah. CBS. Pasty and the Pooh. <laughs> <laughs> they haven't been able to replace Jake and the Fat Man. Now they have Pasty and the Pooh. BJ and the Bear don't need it. Uh, Vinny the Pooh, I guess what Stephen's asking is if uh, you have any desire to have sexual intercourse with either of the two ladies waiting outside. Is that something you have thought about? Is that something that hits your... I didn't even get a chance to think about it. I was just like, are you the girl? And she's like, yeah. I was like, come on upstairs. Let's go. Well, how long do you have to think about it, dude? Well, I mean, I would if that's what you Guys have natural instincts. You see a girl, first thought is bam. Just see the outline of her? Yes. Mm-hmm. So, would you or yes, wouldn't you? Yes. All I'm right, surprised. take it easy. <laughs> What's the first girl's name again? Salida. Salida. Can you go get Salida, please, uh, Mr. Pooh, and have her stick an ankle and only an ankle through the door? One ankle? Yes, please. Hold on. No, both ankles. <laughs> i like to see that. <laughs> I mean, we have a trapeze outside for her to hang from. <laughs> go ahead. Oh Jeez. Sharp. <laughs> oh, why don't you call us from the green room and just... Uh, Give us a little moment from there. Yeah. All right? Let's break this in slowly. Uh, for some reason, I'm, I'm really concerned about seeing the first one start. Because they set the tone! Well, the but, but, you, scary, but, you know, the, the first thing I'm reading. Reviews the, thus well, the far. first thing I'm reading right under Salida's name is Mother of Four Married. Oh, well. Does that strike you as supermodel right in the face? 
Not for the most part, but always. Why you, know, you have to give them a chance? Ooh, stick the word freaking in here. Mother of freaking four. <laughs> <laughs> and works with the elderly. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. That's lovely. It so is. is being a mother of four, Terry. Yes, but not supermodel, not top model material. Hmm. All right. Why so many kids, man? Man. Oh, yeah, Little House on the Prairie? Gosh. <laughs> oh, Pooh. Yes, sir. How are you? I'm good now. Oh, jeez. And why are you good now? And who's talking in the background? Oh, we, we just, you know, oh they're choking with like each other, that nervous energy, Terry. They're yucking it up there in the gray <laughs> room, even though they want to scratch each other's eyes out. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, Pooh, ask uh, the one who's hotter to raise her hand right now. The one who's hotter, raise your hand. Oh, oh, only one girl raised her hand. Oh, well, let me want to see her. Now, now, now both of them raised their hand. No, too late. We want to see the one that raised her hand. Which one was that? Selita. Selita. Ah, the mother of four. Raised her hotter. hand. Isn't that interesting? Tells you she's got a lot of confidence because the, uh, mm -hmm. like the other one, obviously, it's is either not that or cry in your soup, Terry. <laughs> you have to either go confidence or you have to go desperation, like cry in your soup type posture. And she chose confidence. Isn't that oh, nice? That's good. Okay. It's really cute when mothers of four think they're relevant in the beauty world. Yes. Wow. Uh, uh, Pooh. Oh yes. Sir. Does it look like these two ladies are getting along? Uh, not so much so. But they're trying to give the impression that they are, because I heard some giggling. Is oh, that no, something yeah, no, totally. Mm-hmm. I asked them, are you two getting along? getting along. No, I don't know, dude. They're sitting here like, uh, like looking at each other. Well, put on... They said there's no cat fight yet. Put Selena on the phone. Well, there should be, because they're direct competitors with one another. All right. Okay, so, so what do you want? Put Selena on the phone, the one who raised her hand. Okay, hold on. Hello. It's Alita. Huh. You've been waiting outside for a little bit of time, is that right? Yes. Yeah, uh, mother long. mother of four, is that right? Oh, too long. Oh, oh we're keeping oh, you. Oh, is, is that right, Salita? We're keeping you. We're making you wait outside a little too long for your liking? Yes. Mm. Wow. Well, I mean, if you have other things to do with your day, don't let us uh, uh, us hold you up. Oh, no. You can hold me up. Oh. I have a shot. She's got the model attitude. Well, you tell yes, us. Yeah. Do you have a shot? Yes. You raised your hand rather quickly when sizing up your fellow counterpart there. Is that uh, for us to conclude that you bury her as far as your ability to be a top model compared to hers? Yep, because uh, I'm very determined. Well, you may be very determined, but do you have, I have what the takes. physicality to back it up? Yes. Especially after looking at this girl, you're... Yeah, she, she got a nice set of boobs, but still... <laughs> <laughs> Nice little boobs, but the rest of the package isn't there. She's cool. She's she she got the look too, but I, I got the better look. Really? Yeah, the huh. classy look. Do you like women? No. You don't like women. You're not turned on by any woman. They're cute. <laughs> but you've never been attracted to a woman in a sexual way. No. Why not? Because that's not my thing. What is your thing? Men. No mm -hmm. oh, damn men. <laughs> They're the best. But I need to see you first, is what you're saying. Not only because you've been waiting longer, because you're way hotter than the one who also came down this morning that's waiting outside. Yeah, but you can be the judge of that. Uh, well, I will. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you for giving me that honor. <laughs> you're welcome. Okay. All right. Give any of the poo the phone. Uh, hello, sir. What's the other girl's name? What's your name? Allie. Let me speak to Allie, please. Allie. Hello. Allie! Hi. It's very important you know that America's Next Top Model is going to be a very confident lady. Yeah. Now, a very confident lady doesn't get outdrawn in the wild, wild west moment of wild, raising wild your hand <laughs> when asked a question as to who's hotter than the other. If you're not hotter than the one person we have outside, how are you going to be America's Next Top Model? I'm going to be America's Next Top Model. I'm hotter than a lot of girls. You're hotter than a lot of girls. But not the one out there. But just the by coincidence, is, not the one out here? The one out here is really pretty. She's she's really attractive. So you're saying you're not prettier than her? Um. Oh, well, thanks for coming, yeah, down. I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Yeah. Well, but she's again, modest, so you know, that's fine. Well, but, again, you have to have some confidence, right? Because uh -huh. you're going to be going up against a lot of people. Well, I wouldn't be here if I didn't think I had a shot. Wow. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. What about a hot shot? A hot shot? To do not shot. Give uh, the poo the phone back. Okay. All right. What? 
Yeah. <laughs> she's, she's the winner. She's on her way, Terry Oh, I'm a winner. All right. Oh, man. Give the poo the phone back. Okay. Okay, hang on. Uh, hello, sir. Uh, <laughs> as requested, please have Selena come to the door and stick both ankles in. Okay, hold on. I'll be ready. Yes. It's a big moment, Terry. Yeah. You better work. Whoa. <laughs> Big moment. The door is opening. The ankle is back. <laughs> I've got long pants on, Terry. Oh. Thick jeans or something, whatever that is. Yeah, she's rolling them up. She's rolling them up. She's got long boots on underneath. Oh, you like pants. the long oh. boots. Oh. Woo. All right, it's an ankle. Get it? Thank you for confirming, Terry. What would I do without you here? I don't know. <laughs> we do have ankle team. All right. Oh, is that a spleen? No. Bring, okay. Sel- bring Selena. How much time? Am I falling behind? All right, hang on. Tell Selena and her ankles to wait. <gasps> oh, she might get testy, though. Yeah, watch out. Okay. Well. Yeah, Pooh, just hang on. Okay. She has things to do today. Of course. But we will have America's top model, The Search. The statewide, the nationwide, to some extent, Terry, search mm-hmm. begin. Well, as some would say, with the ankle already being thrown to the door, it's already in full swing. <laughs> yes. The T-Man. It's Kid 93's Old School Lunch with Shelly Hart. And you know who I'm looking for? The ultimate new edition fan. You spending backstage quality time with Johnny Gill and Ralph Tresvant and BBD. Is that you? Well, if so, you be listening here today coming up in the Old School Lunch at noon. Plus, we want you to spend a day at the races. We've got four packs of tickets for Emerald Downs. I'll see you right after the T-Man Show. Shelly Hart and the Old School Lunch. Today at noon on Q93. You better work. Oh, Terry, Selena's here in the studio. I see. First one through the door. Yep. Ready to make an impression. That's right. Telling us how nervous she was as she walked into the studio. Mm-hmm. Telling us how now she wishes uh, we can bring Allie in first. Yes. A big change from the girl who raised her hand as the hotter of the two, you and the one who came down right around the time you did, sitting in the green room together. Because I was trying to say the best for last. A big change. Uh-huh. <laughs> Don't all of a sudden try to re yourself. That's a word. Big wussy. Uh-huh. Far from that. Selena, it says here that you were listening yesterday, and when you heard us talking about finding America's next top model, you got re-inspired about what was, in the past, a modeling career for you that has somehow got sidetracked. Is that correct or incorrect? That's correct. All of a sudden, you got re-energized. About the thought about being that model that you were always destined to become. That's true. But then you had four kids. Oh, <laughs> four. Wow. One, two, three, four. And you took on a husband. Yeah. And one can understand how the modeling kind of got a little bit lost in the proverbial shuffle. Isn't that fair to say? That's fair to say. Mm-hmm. Spiraling into the depths of mediocrity. So why'd you get married? Because I love him and I had a fourth child. Mm-hmm. You had a fourth child. The third child isn't what... Uh, put it over the top the fourth child he said ah, maybe we should get married yes <laughs> that overdid it yes uh, Selena if any of the poo uh, asked me during the break to ask you a, may, what may be a sensitive question and you may have heard him say it to me because he didn't exactly whisper it in my ear because I wouldn't ever have him whisper in my ear <laughs> right. but uh, are you prepared for the question yes he says there's some some hood issues that you have working that you're working through that he sees you as a young lady, or maybe not so young, 25, oh, that uh, was from the real hardcore hood and is now doing everything in your power to try to hide that aspect of your life. Is that something that is a part of the Selena personality? This desperation to hide her roots? This desperation to hide the hoodness? I don't have to hide it. If it comes out, it comes out. If it don't, it don't. See, now that she, now that she's been exposed, it's mm. starting to fly a little mm-hmm. bit with a little more fervor, Terry. Yes. No. Are you a woman from the hood? If you consider Fred away the hood, then that's the hood. Oh, Fred away the hood. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> come on, kidding me. Okay. 
Selena, I've been given a responsibility here. I took on a task. I don't take on many because I'm a pretty lazy guy. But when I take on one, I attack it with absolute, unbelievable energy, venom, uh, real unbelievable amounts of effort, and then some. The task that I took on was trying to find, in this area, the woman who's going to not only be put on the show, but make a major impact and ultimately go on, perhaps, to win the competition of America's Top Model. If I were to even consider you, if I were to put you as the person that I chose to be that representative, would I be doing my job, yes or no? Yes. And why? <laughs> because, look... I have four kids. I don't look like I have four kids. I have the energy, the personality, and this is my dream, and I will not upset anybody or make anybody's reputation look bad. You're a pretty tall drink of water, aren't you? Yes. <laughs> so how long does it take to shave them legs anyway? Wow. Do you shave your legs? <laughs> they get waxed. Oh, dude. <laughs> oh. Hmm. We didn't do that in the hood now, did we? <laughs> Oh, no, we didn't. I left that back in a, a couple of oh, years ago. Mm -hmm. Now we're waxing. You would yes. hot shot at the same mutation? That's right. I'll be doing that later on today. Right. <laughs> a full Brazilian wax for your wedding? Sure. I see. Okay. Turn off the music, please. Thank you so much. Okay. Uh, Salida. I have to pick someone who's going to be America's next top model, at least a representative from this area, as I've now stated a couple of times. Even looking at Ali outside, Vinny the Pooh came in with a serious debate as to who's hotter. He's not so sure that you're even hotter than the woman waiting outside. Ooh, Do you wow. want to tell him why he's wrong? <laughs> he's just looking at her set of boobs. Mm-hmm. But boobs don't make a person. They're big. They're natural. Neither and do I you look. have small and natural. Now, if you yes. were a guy or even a woman and you had to choose <laughs> a woman? between one of those. if you had to choose between big and natural or small and natural, which would you choose? Small and natural. You would choose small and natural. Yes. Tell me why. Because it's all you need is a handful. Mm -hmm. It's all you need. Do you have this handful that you speak of or do you allow some fingers to feel slighted? No, I got a handful. You got one uh, bit of boob for every finger. In a man's hand or a child's uh, man's <laughs> a man's hand. hand. A man's <laughs> hand. Man. Well, how big are your boobs? Just for the record, you have a leather jacket on this morning. You have a lot of clothes. Oh, she's taking off the jacket. Wow, yeah, she's gonna show you. Yeah. And under the jacket, she has a green thirty-six C tank top. 36. She's a thirty-six D, and you call no, that small? No, thirty-six C. Oh, thirty-six C. Yeah. What? What at one? And how tall are you? I'm 5'11". 5'11". Wow. Yes. And you're on the thin side, especially considering you've had four children. Oh. Yes. Would you like to explain to Terry how, how you could uh, have four children in the most natural of ways? I mean, they didn't, uh, been, they weren't dropped off by the stork. No. They weren't <laughs> born by C-section, I would imagine. Yes or no? No. No, they came Our right natural. out the vagina, Terry. Yeah, wow. <laughs> and yeah, wow, all of them. If anything, all of them. you're more on the rail side than you are even and remotely on the overweight side, you're you're looking like a supermodel's body here. Tall, lanky, mm -hmm. like she's throwing up every meal. <laughs> no, Jesus. I eat every meal. You do. You eat every meal. Yeah, me too. Yes. <laughs> but do you, I love food. But do you digest every meal? <laughs> I digest it well. You do. You digest it well. And then yeah. you work it off how? Because as you talked about in the Grinning, you love men so much that you work it off in sexual ways. Is that fair to say or no? Are you a sexual freakazoid? There's the lady. Come on and wind me up. With your, oh, yes, oh she, had a, she had to clarify uh -huh. that yes, she's a sexual freakazoid, Terry. Yes. But only with her husband. Why are you oh. so defensive? I didn't uh, uh, make any. <laughs> I didn't make any reference to you being. A, I just that out there. A sexual freak with anyone but your husband. I, oh, okay. I assumed it was with your husband. Why are you? Why uh, are you getting so combative with me? Is there something you're trying to hide? No. Would you like to buy a couple of adulterous cards that Terry was talking about? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't need none of those. No. no, you've been with this guy that's your husband for how long now? Five years. Five years. Oh. And you've had sex with him and only him in the past five years. Look me yes. in the eye, Selena. You looked away from my eyes when I asked this question. Now, yes. this has nothing to do with your supermodel application. <laughs> I hope not. But, in fact, it may help it. <laughs> yeah, okay. It may help your supermodel, uh, your uh, top model application. I want to know if you've had sex with one man, and only one man, over the past five years, I want you to look me right in the eye and say, yes, I have, or no, I must be honest. Yes, I have. I, ha I haven't finished the question Oh, uh, okay. Well, I'm finishing it for you. I want you to say, yes, I have only had sex with one man, or no, Mr. T-Man, I haven't. 
Yes, I've had sex with only one man. Is your husband listening this morning? I don't know. <laughs> but that doesn't I'm matter, kidding. right? That doesn't matter. You've all because you're no, telling. Because I will be honest. Because you're anyway. telling us the truth. You've had sex with only one man. Yes. Well, thanks for coming in this morning. <laughs> wow. <laughs> well, is he the father of all of your kids? We'll give you every no. consideration, oh. uh, which means none, and uh, we'll let oh. you know. Which means don't call us. Oh, James! Oh. Oh, where does she oh. ring? Where does no, she ring? No, you need to call me. I like her. You want us to call you? Yeah, you need to call me. Oh, yeah, baby. Uh, <laughs> Steven, she's a very good-looking lady. She's uh, got a really interesting body. Uh, would you please... We, do we have the camera, by the way? We have to have her pose for a couple of shots oh, here. She's got... <laughs> those, are, those are color contacts you're wearing. Is that right? No, these are mine. Cut it out. Those are, those are your color eyes. These are mine. Are they easy? Wow, Maybe look they, at her. They're mine. You own the contacts. But are they contacts or no, not? No, they're mine. natural eyes. Going crazy. Jeez. She's bugging out here in the studio. I know. Today. Watch out. She's going to get pregnant again. <laughs> <Whoa>. <laughs> I don't need no more damn. She's widening, she's widening her eyes in everyone's face. I know. Now. See, right here. Look. Those are like hazel eyes. Yes. So, uh, can I ask? My dad got it. Oh, Hazel. Mm hmm. Your dad is from what kind of background? He's here? Creole and black. Creole mm. and black. And your mom? She's just black. She's just oh, she oh, that's and black. Yes. black. Boring. <laughs> that is not boring. Black is beautiful. You are. You have never been boring a day in your life, or has there been a couple of days here and there? We got to admit you've been boring. Yes, it's been a couple of days. Okay. <laughs> But the boring days end and the exciting days begin now because you believe you're America's next top model. And you believe that too. Oh, geez. She's telling me what I believe. I in. know she is. Well, you believe you can fly too. Right? Yeah. I think we Why all don't do. you stand up and walk around the T Man catwalk here okay. and give us an idea of what we're dealing with? Now, your husband, I assume, is very supportive, right? Good. She's tall, man. She is very and tall. And actually, her boobs are not that small. Uh, no. Look at her and her ass, is, her ass is really high. It's really high? Yeah, either that or I am. I can't tell. Maybe you are. She's got, a really, she's got a high position ass. You see what I'm saying? No, no, I see, understand. You're, yeah, I understand sure. what you're walking. saying. Keep walking. Yeah. She's got a really cool body. She has she a great like body. Over, she can reach over her shoulder and get her wallet. And you know what? <laughs> <laughs> she walks stupid. <laughs> she walks like a model. She's had yeah. training. You've had training, haven't you? Creole. Some. Huh? Some. You've had some training, yes. She walks nice. She does well. You walk like you've had some runway training. Is that is that uh, correct or incorrect? That's correct. She's uh -huh. that other kind of training. <laughs> it's got very, it's very straight teeth, Terry, which yes. gives uh, those out there the indication that uh, she takes care of her overall hygiene. Mm -hmm. Those for those who look as as that as a marker, Terry, mm -hmm. would be able to verify that that is very much the case. So there's a lot going for you here. Yes. The the downsides oh, are clearly your very gaping size vagina. Wow. <laughs> is that the top of the list? <laughs> the, the, well, that's okay. the first so, thing so I've mentioned. That's yeah. not true. They, it goes down. Oh, wait. Are you saying that she may have a wizard sleeve? I'm Terry. not saying the... Don't go that far, man. Jeez. You know? You're the only one with the wizard. That's kind of weird. Uh, I'm the only one? Oh, okay. That's You've rude. cornered the market on the wizard sleeve, uh, Terry. Uh, but I'm just pointing out the downsides, and you have to identify that as a as a negative when it comes to being a top model. Fair or not fair? Is that no, unfair? That's unfair. That's unfair. Tell me why that's unfair. That's unfair. Tell because me why I, that's unfair. That that doesn't if, make a person. If you, if, <laughs> that doesn't, fine, but if, I'm not talking about a person. I'm talking about a top model. Now, if you're going to be America's next top model, does the fact that you have four kids, is that a positive, a negative, or neither? That's a positive. It's a positive? How is it a damn positive? Not that I, I love kids, but how is that a positive in relation to a top model? Because kids don't have to interfere with your career, only if you let it. The only add to your top model career. Yes. It doesn't hurt your career, but that doesn't mean it's a positive. Walking down the runway with kids dragging no. around your ankle. <laughs> right. Mommy, I could, mommy, I mommy. couldn't find a babysitter. No, right. <laughs> no, my kids won't be on a runway with me. All right, well, here's what I want the listening audience to tell me. I want You're the not pushing a stroller. <laughs> yeah. I, want, I want the listening audience to tell me if they think the fact that Salida here has four kids is a positive, a negative, or neither. Ooh. Oh, wow. Neither. I want to take just a couple of quick calls on that. And then I'm going to go around the room real quick if anyone has any questions for Selena. She's our first contestant, our first candidate, if you will, 
to be the one that we select, that we throw into the casting director's laps, Terry, uh -huh. as the one that represents us okay. in America's top model Shh, television show on what? The UPN, uh, WB, what's the deal? UPN. UPN. Yeah. Probably not. I have it all written UPN. down somewhere. Okay, UPN. Well, as you see, I'm becoming a fan of the show, and that's... Yes. Obviously not uh, something they don't want. They want that, so that's terrific. Okay. <laughs> uh, I probably should have known, but uh, I'm trying to cover up. Anyway. <laughs> UPN 11. Yes. Let me... Is that what it is? Okay. <laughs> Let me go to the phones and see what people think as far as Salida's four-kid status oh, and man. how it plays in people's minds as far as her being America's Next Top Model. You're on the air. See you, man. Yes. So the four kids give her a lot of stretch marks because I'm pretty sure you got to wear a bikini. Yeah, and that is something on. that very much comes into play here. And a great question, something we talked about yesterday mm -hmm. and didn't even bring up to you yet. Have you been stretched oh, as wow. far as your skin? Oh, right Are there. there markings? Right there. What, you have a stretch mark? Yeah. Well, that is something that is going to be a major no. problem. But can you, you see it, it but can, can you see it, though? You're on the wrong way. If you're already talking about airbrushing, wow. we have That's issues. A major problem. The, the listener is even pointing out that is a what, sir? Major problem. A major problem. <laughs> but it's not bad. It's only one. It's not bad. It's only on the side. It is not bad. All right, already. So is it's it not bad? bad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to airbrush my gut down to 220. You're on the air. That's a gut. That's different. Right. <laughs> you only have one, is nice. what you're saying. Is that a long one that covers your... It goes around your body three times? Wow. <laughs> you're on the air. Yeah, if she has stretch marks, it ain't going to work. It's not going to work. <gasps> She doesn't have stretch marks. You know? What she's saying is she has stretch mark. And how long? Go, Terry, take a measuring tape to her. Stretch mark, please. Oh, God. Go ahead. Go up and analyze the stretch mark and tell us how long it is and how thick it is. Mm. You know from long length and thickness, oh, Terry. Oh, yeah. She's the expert team. All right. <laughs> she's showing me with her fingers. You're showing me like two inches. Is that right, Terry? Yeah, about. Either that or you're showing me what you remember from our one date. Okay. Oh, wow. Jeez. Oh, Man. A two inch stretch mark is, is what you're saying. Up your fist? How wide? How, how wide there, Terry? Yeah, about about that. How wide? Oh wide. It's about two by two, quite honestly. Really? You're telling me it's it's the same it's width as square. It's well, a square? No, I mean, but she's but she it's how tall would you look at the freaking stretch mark? It's not two just on. one, you know? It's not just one it, oh, she not she just has one. one long one about oh, that right. long and but there's two right next to it that mm -hmm. that so it's like Make a two-by-four. Yeah. Stephen, do you have any questions for it's Selena? It's like a two-by-four. Oh, jeez. <laughs> but she <laughs> has... plywood. <laughs> yeah, Stephen Kilbreth, do you have any questions for Selena? <laughs> I, I will say How this, Selena. You have, Selena, Stephen? you are a very, oh, wow. very good-looking lady. There's <laughs> no you. two ways about it. There is absolutely no debate over the fact that you are a very, very hot woman. Really hot. All right? You do not, not look at Selena twice when you're walking right. down the street. Right. You do double, you do triple, you do quadruple takes. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Now, Stephen, do you have any questions for Salida? Well, I realize it's not like a... You don't do quintuple takes because you see the stretch mark on the fourth one. <laughs> anyway, yeah, go ahead. I mean, it's not a you vagina still do the triple take. contest, okay. so we don't need to worry about the four kids, I don't think, in this situation. But if she does have showing stretch marks, they usually only airbrush people who are, like, already famous models when they get older, mm. right? You don't start your career being airbrushed, is what you're saying. I mean, if you, in your first interview, you're talking about being airbrushed. Not good. Oh, jeez. Wow. Okay. Wow, you made Salida look all of a sudden very dejected hearing that from your voice. No, I don't feel have... rejected. Oh! No, I'm, I said, I'm still confident. Okay, so we will give you every consideration. Okay. We're going to take a couple of shots of you, see how you look on film. Mm. <laughs> Easy. Take it home with us. <laughs> Whoa. Give it a full analysis. Put it under our pillow. <laughs> wow. Really? And then get back to you. Okay, Salida, does that sound good? That sounds great. Does that sound great? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> great. good. How oh, great. Super great. Right. You guys yeah. have a good day. Uh -huh. Oh, wow. She's oh. ready to go. That's what I'm starting to get warmed up, too. Yeah. All right, Slayer. Oh. Thanks for being here. You're nice welcome. to meet you. You obviously nice haven't learned you. that end of the business, yeah. so uh, it's been <laughs> lovely talking to you. The T-Man. Let's hear the next to come in. Yes. Has been waiting outside for some time, too, now. Her name is Allie. Oh. Now, Allie is, if anything hotter than the last one, Terry. And the last oh. one was, was pretty damn off the charts. I'm not going to lie to you. She was way up there. Yeah, I thought she would be a good candidate. Way up there. She'd be a very good candidate. Mm -hmm. But Allie, from what I'm being told from the glimpse I saw in the green room, yes. 
is taking her down, Terry. Really? Ooh. She may. Well, it depends. It's up to everyone's uh, own little bit of taste here. Sure. Uh, but some are already saying <laughs> she's taking her down. Ooh. And now, uh, Vinny, the Pooh's problem with Allie that he pointed out to me during the break is that she's very ditzy in his mind. <laughs> okay. And? and I don't see any negative as far as that's concerned. <laughs> I don't see why that would be considered a negative. And mm -hmm. Vinny the Pooh is very adamant about the fact that he does not like ditzy girls. Oh. And I am completely blown away by that comment <laughs> because ditzy girls have such a large place yeah. in most men's life. That right. The fact that he's so anti the ditz is startling. Anti ditz, he absolutely is. startling. <laughs> the ditz makes up for like seventy percent of my actions. Unbelievable! Wow! You want to explain this to me? I just can't stand him. Like to the point where I don't even want to be around him anymore to get into some. Are you hearing this? Sexual story? activity. That is kind of surprising. Either of the two girls we seen this morning. I can't stand a ditzy one. I can't. He, he wouldn't ditzy. be around wow. them if they were ditzy Terry. Really? He wouldn't be around. Yeah. Him. You don't have to marry these women. Like the girl out here, she's like not as ditzy, not as ditzy as the other girl waiting. But this girl, like, I just noticed some ditziness. Mm hmm And it gets on your nerves. And you, it does get you on refuse my to hang out with a ditzy girl. I cannot stand them. Like, I'll get irritated, like, to the point where I'm just, shut up. Whoa! <laughs> okay! The ditzy girls are now, so Now, do you annoying. think this has become common with your generation, all the 21-year-old dudes? Or are you pretty much the, uh, know, the only, I can pretty much safely feel that you are in the vast minority of guys that don't appreciate a good old ditz. Isn't that what most guys look for? I mean, oh, hey, please bring give me some ditz, please. You, you <laughs> serious, like, extra helping a dead? Yeah, <laughs> I know, exactly. Especially when you're out clubbing or something, Can right? I get more? That's yeah. why girls try to act that way. Yeah. Not, it's not a deal breaker by any means. Uh, for, well, for oh, Vinny it is. She's not very smart on that. She's a, not mental. It's, it's a not deal even, sealer. <laughs> right. a deal you don't sealer. Be, you don't have to be smart. Just don't be ditzy and stupid. Just Man. Wow. And, and this is a problem going. why again now? I don't know. They just, they're just... They just turn you off. Turn you off to the point that you don't even want to hang out with them. I didn't say turn me off. Well, that's what you're saying. That's exactly what you're saying. No, I'm not... Don't try to back out on it. You said it gets on your nerves. It gets on my nerves. It so that's a turn off, right? Mm -hmm. They're, just, well, they're you, just annoying. All you hot ditzy girls that were going to email Vinny the Pooh and hook up with him, don't do it. Well, right. He's right. out. You have to have Who's a master's ditzy, degree to go out with Vinny the Pooh. <laughs> right. Who's going to admit right. they're ditzy? Turns them on. Now, hey, Vinny, don't get don't get pressured by us. There'll be a lot of people out there that would say, wow, I saw something extra special now in Vinny the Pooh right. that I didn't even realize was there, and he just got elevated even higher on my chart, uh, in my mind, than he was just a few minutes ago. Yeah, true. I don't know who those people yeah, are. They're not. <laughs> <laughs> right. There right. are a few out there, I'm sure. It's very, very bizarre. <laughs> it's interesting. It's very it's strange. Hmm. Man. They're not fun to be around. Sounds like a guy who never went to college to me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Doesn't understand the value uh, of the dits. Well. Great. You never hung out in the college dorm rooms, man. Never. Realizing how much value there is and trying to lure the ditzy room back to your room. The ditzy girl. Ditzy girls are like wounded antelope. Oh, Whoa, that is really the, nice. Limping through the forest. Oh, That's my right. gosh. The, Not tiger. hard to capture, Terry. Whoa. <laughs> here comes the lion. And big hot right. shot. Oh, yeah. Don't tell me that you have such massive game here, Vinnie the Pooh, that you don't need to find the wounded antelope in the forest. <laughs> well, that you don't no, see no. the value of the wounded antelope in the forest. Don't tell me that you're so no, smooth. Not at, all. not at all. That you don't need, from time to time... To be looking for the wounded ones because you realize that that's going to be the best shot and a good shot and a nice piece of game to take home with you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> nice piece of game. <laughs> In the forest, there's game too. No, I understand okay. that, but you it's know, every time you... <laughs> All right? All right. But this is the way he's built, Terry. Right. This is his taste. Right, this right. is his thing. Mm -hmm. If you can't do long division, he's not interested. Right. I can't do long division. <laughs> well, maybe that's why you don't like Ditsy Girls. Oh. Because you can't do long division. Right. I can't do long division. He's a male either. dit. <laughs> Are you a male dit? And maybe that's why that's you don't it. like female ditzes? People oh, no, often no, don't like the qualities <laughs> in other people that they have in themselves. Are you a ditz, yes or no? I don't know. It might be like... Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What was the question again? Uh, yeah. What? <laughs> Man, why don't you go out and get the uh, girl named Allie that you have... Uh... Hey, but don't get me wrong. She's hot. 
All right, whatever. I'm starting to wonder about him. Don't try to back out now. Okay. What are you talking about? Vinny? I think he's, he's going to be Vinny the Pooh Packer pretty oh, soon. <laughs> <laughs> Vinny the Pooh is concerned that Allie, as hot as she is, is a ditz, which would be a deal breaker as far as he's concerned. Yes. Uh, go get Allie, please. Allie is uh, 19 years old, Terry. She's been engaged for almost a year, and her parents wow. don't even know about it. Whoa. So obviously we're talking about if she's not a ditch, she's a girl with major issues. So let's bring in Allie and find out if she is going to go on to become our next, the next top model, Terry. She's going to become our selection to throw to the casting directors mm -hmm. as the next top model. Model. Here she comes. Here she is. A ditz and major issues. Yeah, I mean, when it rains, it pours. Yeah, it does. I, love it. I can't believe her parents don't know. She's also tall, Terry. Yeah. And she's got ample booze off. Yes, I would say yes mm. to that. And they're natural, too, aren't they? There is no artificial sweetener in there, is there? No. No, those are all real, aren't they? You hear that? No, it's not a very difficult. Yeah, I know. A very the poo is very. Uh, much leaning towards the prospect that you are a quote unquote ditzy girl. Have you ever been able to identify within yourself as to whether that is the case or no? I'm not a ditzy girl. Then why? Oh, she says that I'm as smart I'm as she could say. I'm definitely not a ditzy no, girl. I'm not a ditzy girl. <laughs> I'm highly intelligent. Man, would you like to play chess later? <laughs> <laughs> well, then why has Vinny the Pooh uh, been able to sniff out the thought that you would be a ditzy girl? You spent more time with him than you've spent with us thus far, so he must know more than us. I guess. I don't know why he would think I'm ditzy. Well, what is his definition of ditzy? What did you pick up on, Vinny? I don't know. It, maybe it could be just because she's following the girl from the hood that was just in here, so... I guess her personality would seem ditzy to me. Huh? All right. <laughs> you don't... Hey. No, no, hey. Never mind. No. Anyone who follow, follow that logic, please. Uh, all right, maybe she was lost downstairs, and that's what uh, already gave you the impression <laughs> that she was dizzy and, and ditzy. Is that right? Or that's no? that's all right. right. That's a big building. Okay. Yeah, definitely. Wow. Give me some credit. I'm sorry. Okay, well, we're not going to give you credit as far as being a 19-year-old <laughs> that's already engaged. You want to explain that to us? I'm in love with my man. But your husband asked you to marry him. But your parents don't know. My mom, well, my mom doesn't know. We claim that I'm promised because my mom has a problem because I'm so young. But to me, it makes no difference. I know I'm going to marry him, so mm -hmm. I might as well say he's my fiance. And you're going to marry him now. I'm going to marry him But next would year. you marry him at 25? Would you marry him at 30? Even though you'll already be married, the question <laughs> will be very interesting as far as what the answer would be. When you change and mature into a unbelievable woman, which obviously you're destined to become. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I just oh, will marry him. Easy enough. Uh, well, you say that now. <laughs> answer it. You can't answer that question being a 25-year-old because you're 19. <laughs> well, you I'm can't answer that question being a 30-year-old because you're 19. Okay. Well, I think when I'm 25, I'll still feel the same. You say. <laughs> to the big ditch to start thinking. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I mean, what happens if you were to become America's next top model and you're oh. whisked off in she, New York she and, She'd forget whoa. about this guy before you could say... No. Supermodel. He, he should feel happy then to say he's married to an America's next I'm model. I'm sure he would be happy. Would sure. you be happy to say you're I'd married to some schlub? He's not a schlub. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> he's a great guy. Right. Now, Allie, yes. how tall are you? I'm five, six and a half, I think. Five, six and a half. I haven't been measured in a while, so I don't know for sure. All right. Well, we're going to give you a full measurement. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> There's no doubt about the fact that you are a very hot woman. I think you already Thank know you. that. There's no denying that Allie is hot, too. Mm -hmm. oh, She's very pretty. Put it in her alley. Oh, yeah. just, wow. That, that's oh. Did I say that out loud? Oh, yeah, you did. Okay. Let me do four fingers. Like yeah, that. Need oh. Whoa, guys. <laughs> Easy. You have no children? No children. Whoa! It says, oh, it says here, <laughs> retired now. It says here, Allie, that you love to drink. I, I do like to drink. You're a 19 year old girl <laughs> that loves to drink. I you like wanna, to party. You want to explain that to the authorities that are listening? <laughs> Go ahead. Um, well, yeah, I'm 19, but teenagers party, and mm -hmm. there's no point in partying sober. Why not have a drink? Oh, so and where, my boyfriend's 21, so... so I mean, oh. Where do you go to uh, do the drinking? He goes House to, parties. He goes to the stores, and yeah. he gets you the alcohol that you need to get yourself <laughs> into the state <laughs> that you want to be in. I love that trick. Yeah, he's going to be a good husband. <laughs> yeah, he hey, is. Hey, little girl, he's like a beer. <laughs> <laughs> like me now. So what does your fiancé do? He works at Car Toys in Silverdale. Ooh, that's hot. Wow. Okay. Wow. Uh, <laughs> better way to go. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And is, is he the only true love you've ever had? Um, he's my true love. I've had, I've been in love before, but he's mm -hmm. real. 
He's How young. many men would you say at 19 that you've had sexual intercourse with? <laughs> this is a very important top modeling question. Yeah, they uh, need to know, don't yes, they? they need to know these things, Terry. I need to, I'm trying to get a full scope of Allie's personality and right. modeling potential. Right. How many men have you screwed? Four. 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 Uh-huh. Uh, you work out regularly, is that right? No. You don't work out. You get that body and then... I don't think I've been to the gym. And Terry, look at that face. Is, <laughs> that, is that a model's face yes. or what? Yes. You mean to tell me she's been hiding out there in the listening audience up till now and we've never met her? Yes. Obviously, she didn't need to come down for boot camp. Yeah, no, definitely not that. <laughs> How big are them breasts is anyway? 34 double D. Ah! <laughs> wow, <laughs> double D that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Allie, you're wearing a jacket this morning. Yes, I am. Now, do you realize me, as the person evaluating talent to try to send to the casting directors, I cannot evaluate just exactly what I'm looking at when I see a, a big piece of cloth on you? Oh, oh that's like a big piece. I would love you to remove oh, that okay. jacket so I can understand what I'm down with right. here. Okay. Well, we want to see the tattoos. Yes. You have tattoos? Yes. Well, do you Good realize guessing. that America's Top Model may not have a plethora of tattoos? Oh, but let's go to that, buddy. Well, I don't even see any tattoos. Where are the yeah, tattoos? Where are they? Um, I have one on my lower back. Look how shock. Look how yeah, toned her know. arms are, Terry, yeah. compared with the size of her <laughs> jug. Uh, well, yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah. And I have one on my ankle. Uh huh. Where'd you go to school? Where'd you go to high school? I went to Kent Ridge High School. You did? Yeah. Hanging out there with all the dudes, the horny dudes there, and <laughs> no one ever called about you? Nope, no one ever called about me. Were you a good girl? Were you a goody two-shoes there? No, I'm not a goody two-shoe now. School wasn't my thing. What was your thing? Hanging out, skipping school. <laughs> Drinking, <out>. partying. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Okay. And now you want to be the next top model. Yes, I do. And you believe you have what it takes. Yes, I do. And you believe I would be doing my job as best as I can do it by sending you to the America's top model casting director saying this is the one we choose this is the one that is the can't miss star of tomorrow definitely you should do it I should do what now? you should do it you should call and <laughs> let them know wow I'm easy. a hot girl mm. I'm a young girl I'm a she's fresh ready she's ready to party team ready. Man. she's ready to party I feel like face. I've asked yeah. all the yes. questions um, that I have at least for right now Terry I'm mm -hmm. going to turn it over to you guys oh. as far as questions and then I'm going to turn it over to the listening audience do you have any questions for what could be the biggest star in the making for the next 10 15 years Allie from Kentridge High <laughs> One eight six 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 three T man, Stephen. Any questions for Ali? Well, uh, this guy. How long have you been going out with him again? Uh, for over fourteen months. Oh wow, over fourteen. Fourteen months. months. And yeah. how long have you been engaged? Uh, since Christmas Eve. Okay. That's on Christmas Eve, he got on one quick. knee. Yes, he did. And with a handful of tinsel, he proposed to you. <laughs> <laughs> Your parents don't like the guy, right? Well, no, my family likes him a lot. They why? Don't and why don't you? You just don't tell them you're engaged because you're nineteen. Right. A good reason. But, but if you're getting married next year, then. Don't they need Seems to know? Seems kind of stupid. Well, I Something don't... tells me you're not going to be able to pay for it, so you... Do you have a picture of this schlub? I have a feeling he's just an absolute schlub. Is he... What does he look like? you have a picture? I don't have a picture You have a picture of a oh, man? I <laughs> She really doesn't love him. Does. I really do love him. I have a woman I love, and I have a picture of her <laughs> whenever needed. He has a picture of me. <laughs> That's not... I will, too, at the end of the... Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Do you, live, do you live in Silverdale now? Oh, yes. No, I live in Renton. So that's quite the long-distance relationship then, it's, huh? Yep, it's been that way the whole time. Uh, Terry Frey, do you have any questions for well, Allie, the future top model to be, perhaps? Well, I noticed that she, like she says, she's young, she's ready to party, and she enjoys that. And Precious. I'm wondering if, you know, that might be a little overwhelming, like I said earlier, you know, going to New York and things like that. How are Is you going to handle that? Is it going to hinder your yeah. modeling career, this unbelievable need to party that you have? I don't have a need to party. Oh, but I mean, you I have do. a good head on my shoulders. You know, I know what I have to do to get the job done. I'm not going to go out and lose my mind all night long. Mm -hmm. When it's time to party, it's time to party. When it's time to work, it's time to work. And this guy, this car toys <laughs> dude of yours, yes. shouldn't be concerned that if you are getting exactly what you're here to get, this top modeling career that uh, could very much be hers, Terry. Yeah. Are you telling him that he has not a thing to worry about? Forget all these models you'll be hanging out with, these male models and these big, powerful executives. Oh, you yeah. You will be true to him for the rest of your life. He has nothing to worry about. Wow. Well, well, yeah. Whatever. <laughs> she likes the cars that go boom. Oh, yeah. Ever. In that big city, they boom a lot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, 
hop, scotch, a scot. Mm -hmm. Three days away from your wedding. Mm. Are there any questions you have for Allie, who is a candidate amongst uh, many candidates that will be here? That we will decipher as far as whether she's got what it takes. Do you have any questions for her to help you get to that conclusion? Uh, do you have a fetish for 300 pounders? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Not that I know of. Oh, it it nice. might be hiding. I don't know. Oh, oh, I don't know. Mm. She might want to give it a try. Maybe. Maybe. It's a great diplomatic answer. The shirt comes off. Nope. It's not there. Uh, no fetish. See you later. <laughs> Get out of here. At least you got your shirt off. Well, let's go to the phone and see. Let's see if that's at that point. Let's we'll see if any callers have any questions for Allie, who is here in the studio. Try to be an American. You're on the air. Hello. Hello. Yes. Hi. Hi. I used to work with her, so I know that she could be America's next top model. She's very hot and she has very big boobs. Where'd you work okay. with her? Are we allowed to say? Fine. It's fine with me. Um, Nordstrom. You worked at Nordstrom? Yes, I did. What'd you do there? I was a cashier and I did sales for about three months. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> no matter what you want to say. I was the janitor. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> I used to clean the urine. Wax the floor, baby. <laughs> yeah. oh, okay. Well, that's Her very exciting. really hot, too. <laughs> right. <laughs> sure he is. Uh -huh. He is. All right. See, well, how you know. Know. Okay, I'm very jealous. Anywho. <laughs> Uh, yeah, how did so, you guys meet? So you think she's she's got what it takes as a fellow yeah. co-worker. Do you know who this is? No. Yeah. I'm they, asking I'm asking her if she knows who you are. Do you know who Morgan. she is? Morgan. You remember a Morgan? Yes, I do. You remember Captain <laughs> Hi, Morgan. Hi, Morgan. Mm. Hello. How are you? You're good. How are you? Oh, they called her Morgasm I'm sure, for short. I know I went you on the radio as soon as I heard your voice. I was like, oh, my God. That's Alexandria. <laughs> it's me. Oh, and she... then you said Silverdale. So I'm like, oh, my God, it's her. <laughs> yeah. All right. Huh? There it is, reunion huh? time. All right, yeah. <laughs> you're on the air. Any question for Allie that you may have? Because the listeners are a part of this too, by the way. Mm -hmm. okay. Hello, anyone there? Hello. Yes, he's hiding in his basement. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Um, you um, before you uh, do you plan on getting married? Oh, yes. <laughs> this guy just wanted to ask anything. He just wants to talk to her. Right. Yes. That's what you call for, sir. Yeah. All right. She plans on getting married. When do you plan on getting married? Next December, December sixteenth. Uh -huh. My anniversary. You mean this December? No, December of two thousand six. Uh -huh. That long, huh? That long. <laughs> Can you say long? Um, again? If, he, if your boyfriend ever cheated on you, do you think you would not marry him? I don't know. Because he's here right now. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you don't know. You might forgive him. You might excuse him for. Uh, well, it depends on how bad the cheat was. I well, mean, how well, bad does the cheat have to be? Oh, he gave it to her. Kissing bad. a girl. I mean, whatever. I can forgive that. But mm -hmm. sleeping with somebody. I you don't wouldn't know. forgive that. You don't know. I don't know. You don't know. So you're not saying you. I'm not saying I would. I'm not saying. Wow. I would. I don't so know. he may be able to go out and screw some <laughs> girl half as hot as you tonight and get away with it. If she's half as hot as me, then maybe I'd have to dump him. I mean, if he's gonna cheat, he, she he better go better big me. time. Yeah. I yeah. mean, come on now. Wow. Well. <laughs> I don't think it would matter. Yeah, it wouldn't matter. She's forgiving. You're on the air. Hello. Yes. It's Hi. Great quality about you. Yes. <laughs> this is Maya. Yes, Maya. I want to know um, if I'm prettier than Allie. Oh, My Maya. picture's in there. Your picture's in here? Yes. Allie, uh, Maya, I got uh, hundreds of pictures in here. Okay. I'm Maya Reed. Maya, oh, Maya oh, Reed. Oh, oh. You had 34 Mayas there. You couldn't figure it out. Uh-huh. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, my chance. Reed. No. My Reed. Let me look here. I think it's in, in alphabetical yes. order, right? <laughs> Are you 5'11", 139? Yes. That's you? That's me. I found her. See that? Wow. Mm -hmm. Well, you looked under ours for Reed. <laughs> you did. All right, let me see your picture here. The system works. Uh, yes. She's hotter <laughs> than you. <laughs> don't bother. Oh. Uh, well, I don't know. It's hard to tell. You sent a black and white picture. No, it's colored. Oh, it is? Well, it oh, printed wrong, out black and white. Wrong <laughs> what a shocker. Person. No, no, it's the right person. You, you're, uh, you have, like, straight black hair? Yes. Okay. Well, I'll, I'll be able to tell you the answer to that question when we have our appointment with you, okay? Okay. Don't get all concerned by everyone that comes in here. I'm, gonna be not, a, I'm not concerned. There's going to be a lot of competition. Are you a white girl? No, I'm black. All right, I got the wrong Maya then. Okay, I'm Maya Reed. <laughs> this white, yeah, this, this Maya is uh, very white. I mean, very white. Look oh, that's my No, I, I, I could see white. from way back here. I was like, I think yeah. you have the wrong person. Mm -hmm. But it is a black and white picture. So. Yeah, it is. Black and white. <laughs> I got two 5'11 Mayas. Yeah, that's interesting. What else? How old are you, Maya? I'm 22. Yeah, this one's 24. Mm. Wrong, Maya. All right. Not under read. All right, baby. I'll, I'll see you when I see you. 
Be all right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, for the show. Right. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Mm. Uh, where was I with you? Oh, jeez. Yeah. You're on the air. Hello. <laughs> Hello? Yes. Uh, yes. Um, Maya may be hot, or Allie may be hot, right. but um, just like the girl that called in yesterday from Renton, yeah. nothing good comes out of Renton. Oh, Everything that's a good word. comes out of Renton. You have not met me yet, so you can't it, sit there It and doesn't say matter that. if I've met you or not. Wow. I've met a lot of girls from Renton, and they're all the same. I'm nothing not good a lot comes of girls. Out of Renton. Yes. Therefore, you might as well send her home now. Okay. Don't send me home. Well, we're going to send you home regardless, because <laughs> <laughs> yeah. hang out all the time with you is a... Uh, but Allie, oh it is uh, it's my home today. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I get her tomorrow. Yeah, right. God, the time for you is up. You have okay. made a great impression. There's no doubt about it here in the studio. If you'll take a quick walk as Pacey snaps some pictures, that would be lovely. Okay. Show us your best features. Of course, we need to see those so we have a great lasting memory of you. Okay. And uh, <laughs> hot, try, well, hot sure shots requesting to see him. You can't deny a man is about to get married. His right. last it's request. It's a bachelor party. You know. Okay. <laughs> uh, why don't you get up and, appropriate. and take a little stroll so we okay. can get a last look at uh, the very lovely alley from Renton, Terry. Yep. Yes. Mm -hmm. Which is Kent Ridge. Wow. All just adds up, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. There she goes. <laughs> giggling the whole way, Terry. Yeah, she is. Wow, they are big, dude. <laughs> <laughs> you got the T man. Uh huh. John B. Right, Terry? Yes. Yes. He'll be at Summer Show. He will. He's very good. And now, oh geez, uh, Terry's obviously been in his trailer. Now, uh, <laughs> no, just that's how we got invited back. Would the yeah, listening, a nice guy. would the yeah, listening audience like me to take the best of the pictures taken by Pasty Dave with the drooling camera? And, uh, <laughs> okay, is it all wet? Or is the drooling mouth onto the drooling camera and uh, take the best picture of the day and put it on the tmanshow dot com and call it America's best top model? Today, picture? Oh, oh, yeah, or could be, would. sure. Or, well, I kind of like them to be able to see what we've seen today, but... Mm -hmm. yeah. So that would mean on certain days when there are women down here who absolutely have no business <laughs> applying for America's top model, their pictures will be put up as well. Yes. That's what yeah. you want. Yes. And the people yeah, and, love to and see then, that, too. And then yes. there's a girl waiting to come in right now, but there's no time left. She was late. Right. So she's got to be bumped. Uh oh. And I hear she's really angry. Well. So that's what we do when that happens. At the end of the show, we bump them. Yeah. Bump us over. Mm hmm. What's, I... her, what's her name, Pastela? Kim. What? Kim? Kim? Kim, are you there? Hello? I know you came down. Where'd you come from? Where, what city did you travel from to get here? Okay, man. I came from Puyallup. Wow. Oh, wow. That's a, yeah. That's a, nice that's a grip. Drive. I understand. Well, uh, you're being bumped. Oh. But I will give you Summer Jam tickets. Is that a fair deal? Hey. You know what, T-Man? Yes. Let me tell you. I already got my damn summer jam. Oh, jeez. Well, All right. I did. I got my damn summer jam. All right. So you don't want summer jam tickets? No. What? I want back tickets, anger management tickets. <laughs> mm, oh, okay. We'll make that happen for you right away. Yeah, right. hold on. Okay, yeah, hang on the line. It'll be a long trip back to Puyallup now. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I'll take the tickets, man. Should have taken the, there's nothing wrong with having four tickets. Hey. Right. Especially when two of them are free. Okay. Can I also make a comment about the last girl that was here, Allie? Yeah, I heard you, actually. I think I know the comments you're going to make because you made it during the break, Terry, and I was listening even though you thought I wasn't because mm -hmm. uh, I was ignoring you. But, <laughs> what else is new? but I, I'm shocked you didn't make this comment while she was here, well. but it was an interesting comment nonetheless, so if it's the one I'm thinking, go ahead and make it. I was just saying that you guys were very enamored with her bosom. The yes, size right. of it and how hot good shot, it, hot shot especially. Yes, right. <laughs> Ask, <laughs> asking to see it, yes. um, see them. But uh, you know, I'm sure your fiance, two days away from her wedding, is going to be very excited to know that you have to see her boozums. <laughs> hey, okay. she has to see mine first. Oh, dear. But uh, but you have to be aware that you know that could be a hindrance for her, especially when it comes to doing the catwalk. So aha, uh -huh. because. So that's something we got to take into consideration? Yes. So that if it was a boob walk, she'd be perfect. That's if it was a boob walk, she'd be great. I, I think they're making uh, models these days more curvaceous than ever, Terry. They are, And however, even though you, you absolutely resented her for having natural, full, big-ass oh, breasts, yeah. you shouldn't all of a sudden take away points from her scorecard, Terry, because you hated the very <laughs> ground that she walks on. I didn't. Because she has natural, big, big bosoms without having to get them surgically altered and right. having a champagne bottle shoved up her butt. <laughs>
Wow. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, like, your, like your doctor did to you. <laughs> well, he didn't do seat. that. Right. <laughs> Although he did, you know. He allegedly the, the, did. The, 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 the breast thing, sure, but okay. not the bottle. Well. But, but still. You don't know, though. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you're right. Don't you I know? don't. I don't know. But still. It should be a CSI and, episode. Right? <laughs> <laughs> cool. All right. I got a confession to make. Uh-oh. I wanted to see him as bad as Hacha. <laughs> oh, <dear. laughs> I was trying to take one for the team. <laughs> All right, I'm, sure being, I'm being were. persecuted now. Yeah, yeah they were all right. But I just anyway. I mean, because regardless of how curvaceous they are, right? It's a big hindrance in your opinion. I think so. And we should take that in consideration. Yes. And because of that, she should have demerits. She should have points well, taken away from her. Yeah. Well, when I throw the picture up on the TeamManShow dot com, we'll see if the listeners agree to okay. it. Throw her picture up immediately. Pasty, I mean, stop you, eating. If you click the picture and it smells like smoke, just it'll go away. In a couple <laughs> seconds. Hey, pasty, yes, sir. Uh, have you called Greg the Internet Guy or Computer Freak or one of those two? I have not, but I'm in the well, process well, of well, right it. Now. Uh, let me hear you do it. Oh wow! Well, I got to pull up the phone number first. Hold on. Oh, pressure. Oh, well, Jimmy Fred would have had it memorized. <laughs> <laughs> And he wouldn't have breathed this heavy. And he probably still has a memory. It would have been a lot shorter. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Jimmy but, Fred, see if he knows. Yeah, but I bet he does. If, we, if, we, Jimmy, if it were Jimmy Fred, we wouldn't see any women today. Because <laughs> so. they all wouldn't have shown up? Right. Wow. wow. How about that for a <laughs> no. night? I'll tell you what. I'll, 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 I will say this. Pasty had three women a book, and three, three women, women came, came down this morning. Oh, Jimmy Fred would have been the next top model. <laughs> yes, he would have, because he always had to step in, right? I never remember booking three people on one show and having them all show up before. That's, that, that's not true. That's bull crap. There's well, Pasty's employee of the month. There's something about Pasty Dave that gets these people that are supposed to come down to uh, actually come down. Wow. Check that out. What a concept. Mm -hmm. probably his height. Yeah, this creepy yeah, guy. Keep so calling me. Get that picture on ASAP. Like we're gonna need it soon. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa! Can you say ASAP again? Um, yeah, I'll be emailing it to you after the show here. How about right now? Yeah, well, he well, can't put it up ASAP if he doesn't have it. Right. <laughs> 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 All right, awesome. Sounds good, man. All right, whatever. All right. All right, so that picture, just put one, just put that picture on the front page. I don't want to do a whole splurging uh, collage of pictures. Oh, okay. splurging collage. <laughs> Unless the listeners demand the splurging collage, mm. I think one should do for right now. For the day? One of each yes. of them. Just... Well, I don't know how many we have. I haven't even seen them yet. Okay. Maybe one of them doesn't photograph well. Oh. Terry brought up the, the last one with the big-ass presses and says it's a huge hindrance on mm -hmm. her being a top model. And I am not so sure that's right. But I have to take Terry's thoughts into consideration. It is something that I uh, didn't necessarily think of. I was too mesmerized at the time. <laughs> Even though Terry's thoughts are infrequent and... Yes. Not usually well thought out. We still have to take we have to. We have to come to the realization that this may be the day, one out of every three years, that she has a legitimate thought. Okay. I have to check the calendar to verify. <laughs> well, thank you. It sounds pretty pretty logical mm -hmm. that double Ds like she had, Terry, could be a, a hindrance on a modeling career. There's no doubt about it. Mm -hmm. But that's, a porn career. That's why... <laughs> what? Gee. Stephen, Stephen would like to... <laughs> Introduce you to a porn career. That's his business. Uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> that's why we're all in this thing together, for the checks and balances to uh, figure <sighs> out who is the best candidate after we see them all. See them all. How many do you have booked for tomorrow? i uh, got three booked for tomorrow. Well, all right. You do gotta, more. You're batting a 1,000. We can do more. Okay, no, we don't need more. <laughs> we can do more. Jeez, three at a time. <laughs> So, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, or I'm sorry, ladies, if you haven't made your appointment with the pastiest of pasty daves... Well, then you better get on the ball. You better get on the stick, as we say in the trade, in the talent search trade. <laughs> yeah. You better get on the stick, baby. Mm. <laughs> get on the stick. The T-Man.